Welcome back to the stream, guys. Welcome to Monday, and welcome to SnowRunner. And also, real quick, I want to go ahead and thank Otakon right off the bat for dropping a freaking $10 Super Chat to kick off our Monday. Holy cow, that is amazing. That is freaking intense. And, like, dude, I cannot thank you enough for that. So, with all of that being said, I'm going to go ahead and say hello to all of you amazing people out here in the chat that decided to come out on this Actually, really beautiful Monday out here. EJ Jackson with the $2 Super Chat. Let's go. Let's go, bud. Oh, my God. Kicking it off today. All right. So, y'all, first of all, I want to say that... Here, let me accept that real quick. First of all, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys for coming out to the stream today and also I want to say that for any of you guys that are new to the stream we are playing the game on this screen and watching the chat on this screen so just in case I miss any of your messages while I am playing the game uh, that's probably why but I do obviously look over at the chat a lot to um to kind of check in on things and say hi to everybody. So, speaking of saying hi to everybody, what is going on to the chat? I see Herbie, I see Puppy Master, I see Clayton Sharp, I see Mighty Motors, Landon Brooks, and let's see, Eric and Tyler and Caden, and who else do I see out there? Christian Knight, I see Eddie Beaver, I see Lander, I see Silver Number, I see Cody Cowley, I see Sam, I see who else? GB, what's up? Beans Squad, Logan Crawford, what's good? I see you out there, buddy. Keelan Wallace, Tsunami, and let's see, Catherine Curtis, what's going on? Dude! Krishana Dan with the $3.99 Super Chat and Bo Brecht with the $5 Super Chat. You guys are going nuts today. Oh my freaking God, y'all. Let's see. Kyle, what's up, man? I see you out there in the chat. And Ernest and who else? Who else? Matthew Chapman and Logan Crawford and LGB yet again. James and Calvin and Aiden and Cody and Connor and Typical Jack and OK Gamer and Fly Films. And who else? And Ben. And let's see. Sean and Gerhard and Griffin and 4.3. Oh, God. I missed the rest of your name. Hey, Patrick. What's up, buddy? I see you out there. I almost missed your name, but it's cool to see you out here. Levi, Justin, Jesse, Golden Dogs. Let's see. Jeremiah and Caden and Josiah and Hot Rod Dave. And who else? Muhammad is like, beans. And I'm like, beans. <laughs> and let's see. So Matrix something out there in the chat. Uh, Calvin and Andre2500. And let's see, Monster and... Oh, boy. And Trooper and Brandon Cook. And, and let's see, Skating and 999. What's up, buddy? And Duke Boys was good. Clapped out. Hello from Oregon. What's up, man? And Frank the Tank, I did see the Yurf Dog track. I subbed to it as well. So I'll definitely be checking that out at some point. Casey Clark, what's up, man? And Daniel and who else out there? Cummins Kid and Beckett and who else? Okay, good. What's up? Caden was good. Jason B. And, and let's see. Gamer something. I missed the last part of your name. Yo, Jameson Lyons with the $5 early squad super chat. And Norman with the $9.99 super chat. Let's get her in. I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all are showing up like mad today. Literally already blowing my mind. And it hasn't even been five minutes. You guys are insane. And I love each and every last one of you guys. Let's see, Daniel and Keelan and Derek and Nico and... And who else? Who else? Let's see. King Cal 27 yt what's up? 1-800-YEET. <laughs> Foxy Gang, what's up? Jan Eric was good. And who else? Let's see. Shad, what's up, buddy? TDV Donut. And Jason B. And then Griffin, uh, Griffin Lumen, I think. And let's see. Simon Bomb, what's up, dude? Somebody out there repping Sweden. What's good? Yeet. Full send. Initial yeet. Speaking of yeet, what's up? And let's see. Keep making your amazing videos. <laughs> For sure, bro. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Let's see. How's there 16 yellow? What's up, buddy? How is it going out there? Oh, my controller decided it was going to be funny and disconnect on me, but I think I figured it out. I think there's a bit of a, like, uh, like a mess up in the controller cable, but yo, Mike Mavis with the 499 super chat. I rage quit this game yesterday. I almost did recently, so... Let's see, Farm Boy out there in the chat, Arizona Gang out there in the chat, what's up buddy? Reppin' Arizona in the chat, what is good? Let's see, Wyatt, Griffin, Jen, let's see, Yeet Boy, <laughs> full on Yeet. And alright you guys, let's go ahead and kick this off, I am so freaking ready. Alright, we're gonna go back to um, the Yukon, of course, but we also have this new interesting area called the Kawarthas region, which I'm gonna be doing a, it's actually a really, really cool thing, because it's a full modded region, not just a modded map, which is really cool, but I'm gonna be doing a full video on that a little bit later on, but let's go ahead and jump into Flooded Foothills, and with that all being said and done, we are going to jump back into the Yukon and hit up some hard contracts. Now, 
We left off last time with, hey, what's up, Diesel Addict? What's going on? Somebody says, I'm eating beans while I watch beans in SnowRunner. <laughs> mm. Oh my god! Whoa! Connie143 with the 200 SEK Super Chat. I'm pretty sure that's about like 20 US dollars. That is amazing! Freaking blowing my mind, dude! God, my brain is like exploding right now. Thank you, thank you, freaking thank you so much. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much. Yo, that is amazing. All right, so obviously we are back in the first map in the Yukon region today, and we are going to be jumping back into a little bit of exploration, but we've also got to continue reinvigorating the old mines and we have to finish reinvigorating said old mines so yeah you jumped i'm really sorry about that like loud noise it's been doing that a lot so all of our vehicles are up here at the end of the last stream we reloaded our twin steer with this azov crane truck and we are going to use the twin steer to get everything back up to the mine now, the only thing with that is we still, like, we still don't have everything delivered, so we are probably going to have to make one more trip, but it shouldn't be too bad. We are almost there. We're almost there. This is probably the longest contract I have ever done, and especially that I have ever done on stream. So, if you guys are, if you guys are into that, like, dude, stick with me, because it's going to be nuts when we finish this. Also, who's been in here for who's been at the like at the stream for every single like every single stream that we've partaken in this contract i know i couldn't really get that like get that out of my out of my mouth there on that one that was not that was not my best english ever but you know dude that'd be insane gb that'd be absolutely freaking nuts oh my god dude catherine girls that'd be nuts Woo, let's see. First time I made it to a stream. You get a kind of lonely run of the combat all the time. Gotta keep the world turning though. Right, Ryan? Dude, like, people don't really understand how much, like, how much everything that they do every day is affected by farming. You know what I mean? Let's see. Oh, thank you for hearting my comment. No worries, bro. Hey, I'm seeing a bunch of people out there that have been in the chat for, like, every single part of this contract, which is amazing because you guys will get to see us do this from start to finish and it's taken so long but we will finally make it there and i'm so freaking excited dude tc can't english today you're right i i i, I can't english today let's use our little uh, gmc to add a little bit more fuel to the twin steer just to top it off just a little bit target target uh wait oh god hold on maintenance frame twin steer is now fully filled up and i'm also going to fully repair the engine in the twin steer as well so now hold on do we have okay yeah that truck's off so yeah now we have a fully refueled and fully repaired twin steer so we are good to freaking go dude like, this thing is literally perfect. The only thing that's not perfect about it is it doesn't have beans in it. Because I forgot to put them in the truck before we set off. And I got really sad, like, when we got about halfway out here. Because I was like, no! I forgot beans! But it's okay, because beans is in literally everything else. He's in the GMC, and he's in the Azov crane truck, and he's in literally every other truck that we own. So, I moderately forgot to throw him in this truck, but it's alright. No worries. I'm gonna have to make this turn real wide like real wide because as you can see it's uh yeah my steer tires are not on the ground at all it's a bit of a yo that's amazing oh my god dude we already have over 350 people in the, in the stream holy crap wow that is freaking nuts dude oh my god Wow, you guys are incredible! Alright, let's go ahead and back it up real quick. Oh god. Oh god, that was too much. We almost turned it over there. And I am... You left Beans at home? Bruh. No, Beans is in the other truck. He's alright. He's fine. No worries. I left Beans the keys to the other truck. He's good. He's okay. He's A-okay. So we'll get these... 
all of these down to the old mine. And then once we get these down there, we're going to have to deliver a few more metal rolls, a few more concrete slabs, and a little bit more fuel. But dude, we, were, we will knock this out today. Yeah, we will absolutely knock this out today. I did, Crimson. Yeah, it's really cool. Beads. <laughs> now I'm going to have to just be really, 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 really careful. Jared Thomas, what's up, man? How you doing? I see saying hi out there in the chat. We appreciate you a lot, DC. Thank you, Tyler Smith. I appreciate you, too. I appreciate all of you guys. Oh, God. Ow. I may have damaged my engine a bit. Patrick says the coils need more shit. Oh, oh, I almost flipped, I almost flipped over. Yeah, Patrick says the coils need more chains, which to be fair, I would believe him because he's actually a professional truck driver and and I feel like I would trust his, uh, I would trust his opinion on that. I would trust his wisdom on that one. I did not mean to put it in low there. I don't know why I put it in low. That was... That was, like, really, really silly of me to put it in low. Oh, I forgot the dairy was up here with the trailer as well. I'll probably send that back to go get the fuel. And then we'll probably use a combination of the twin steer and the dairy to get the fuel, to be honest. But let's see. Just join. What did I miss? Not too much, bro. We're just dropping off the load of cargo that we left off with in the end of the last stream. But it's going to be it's gonna be a good one today because I think we're finally going to be able to finish the reinvigorating the old mines contract. So I am going to... Let's see, all right, metal rolls, boom, and boom. What do you mean? It, oh, it was only one, okay. So we have five more metal rolls to deliver, three more concrete slabs to deliver, and six more fuel units to deliver. This, even if you did this in multiplayer, it would take forever. Like, oh my god. Can you give me your biggest yeet, please? Um... Well, currently, I don't want any of my trucks to die because I'm trying to complete this uh, this contract. And uh, if I if I give you my biggest yeet, these trucks might die. So yeah. Oh my God, it's Poison Snake. What's up, buddy? Oh, is an idea you and Red have? That's legit, Frank. That's awesome. God, this, like, front and rear wheel steer does so much for this truck's maneuverability. Makes it so much easier to turn it around. It's awesome. I'm gonna just, like, slink that trailer between the trees there just to give myself a little bit extra room. <laughs> and this thing has, like, a properly advanced gearbox. So you can go into high, you can go to automatic. You can use it for, like, whatever you want, basically. So I'm going to keep this in auto mode with uh, with all-wheel drive on as I make my way down the hill. I'm going to grab the slabs because they're super close and they're right there. Oh, initial yeet. That's legit. Dane, what's up, dude? Dude, I know, GP. It's freaking wild. Uh, Fluid79 with the $2 super chat with Box Turtle for life with a bunch of box. <laughs> I like a bunch of freaking Box Turtles. Heck yeah. Amanda Collins, what's up? Dude, that's legit. We need a Comanche mod? Dude, okay. Christian Knight has been all about this Comanche mod for, like, a while now, and I freaking want it. Like, I absolutely freaking want it. Silent Mustang, what's up, buddy? I need to keep my eyes on the, um... I need to keep my eyes on the rocks so I don't cause myself any more engine damage. But thankfully, I've got a truck that has fuel and repair points about halfway down the hill however it's starting to run a little low on both of those so i gotta be careful see up what's up dude any people with the two dollars super chat apparently i've been pulling a flatbed he said i've been pulling flatbed semis for 19 years dang boy wait i think i've i need my diff locks yep champions and lions with the big old yeet all right, I'm gonna swing wide here because that's the only way I'm gonna be able to fit this down this trail. Swing ultra wide and hopefully not hit the rocks. God, that front and rear wheel steer doing work, bro. Oh my God. It'll still probably drag on the rocks a little bit. Yeah, it's going to, it's going to. 
Dude, Sean's repairs and reviews. I did. I've actually got a video coming on it very, very soon. Very, very soon. Ethan Coder, what's up, man? Tracy, what's up? G65 and G63, 6x6 six six back in this game. Oh, that'd be nuts. That'd be freaking nuts, bro. Carson Rose, what's up, man? Only problem with this thing is it guzzles fuel. Okay. Let me swap to that MH9500 and go for a repair. Go for a repair. Oh, man. That thing's getting pretty low on fuel now, the auxiliary tank. Let's see, kind of went beast mode, and let's see, speed ran, Amandra, and the lake map. All tasks and contracts done in two days. Good God, bro. Good God, that is freaking wild. Holy smokes, my dude. Holy freaking smokes, bro. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. Everything's amazing. What's up, dude? I don't see money. ITC watching, watching you during my break. Heck yeah, bro. Oh, heck yeah, 999. Thank you so much, man. I'm glad you enjoy it so much. Are the mods on PS4 yet? Not yet, Jared Thomas, but I'm hoping that we get an announcement about console mods pretty soon. I'm really, really hoping that we do. But there's all our fuel. Okay, well, at least there's a good chunk of it. So we'll pull that up with another truck in a minute. Actually, we could pull that up with the Azov, which, by the way, we need to move. Is it bad that I kind of forgot we were using the Azov for that? Kind of. Kind of, sort of, maybe, kind of. Lifted Prius in this game. Oh, God, that'd be nuts. All right, I'm going to stop your engine and just kind of let you chill up there. Back into the dairy. God, that afternoon went by quick. Quite the angle here. I'm just going to try and not flip everything over. Like, if I flip everything over... Oh, Josh the Gamer, what's up? And GB, how's it going out there, bud? All right, you just said you'll be back soon? All right, sounds good. Any news on Phase 2? I've done a couple of um, couple of videos on all the, like, the information about Phase 2 lately, so um, when there when new information arises, I'll definitely make another video. <laughs> Liberty Bibbity is saying hi. What's up, buddy? <laughs> now, the concrete slabs are going to be down here in this little supply depot, and we'll pick those up and then head back up the hill. We're just going to have to be really, really careful. Let's see, the Tega saved my butt as well as the F750. I did use the Dan as well. The Dan is a hidden gem. It's really good and not a lot of people use it. It's got a big front overhang, which I think is why a lot of people don't use it. But, I mean, if you can get around that, it's good. Spencer, what's up? Throwing it high and, oh my god, rolling out. Throw it in automatic mode. Might as well. Flo Sanchez, what's good? Just got a brand new gaming PC. I'm playing FS19. Heck yeah, RNC modding. That's awesome. All right, time to get those concrete slabs loaded up. And... All right, let's go ahead and park. All right. Slabs. Boom. No more cargo left. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. That's actually really annoying. God, they're out of slabs. That's annoying. Okay, we've got limited cargo out here, which means I'm going to stop that truck. I'm going to use the Azov now to deliver the... Hey, what's up, Zane Wilson? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to use the Azov to deliver the fuel, and then we'll figure out where the rest of those concrete slabs are, and we'll have to make a, uh, a trip to go get them, which is what makes these contracts a little bit harder. I know, right? We're so freaking close, bro. James, what's up, man? Lifted Prius with towing, like, tow hitches. That'd be legit. Be freaking legit. Fazio, I hope your uh, I hope your pupper feels better soon. All right, let me get this thing backed up into place. All right, stop it right there. Attach, and up we go. Fortunately, we have the GMC up there at the top. The only thing about the GMC is the fact that it's still a little bit lower on fuel. So, why do I smell TZ is going to flip in this stream? Ah, don't worry about it. 
I only flipped at the end of the last stream, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I am really going to have to be careful, though, with this trailer full of fuel when we get to the rock section. Because it is going to be, it is going to be tricky. Like, properly tricky. Sam, what's good, bro? And then, of course, later on when we, uh, when we get to kind of a stopping point, like a midway point with this, we will, uh, we will absolutely go and do a little bit of mudding, like I said in the, uh, like I said in the title. So we're gonna do basically a combination of hard contracts and then mudding and then hard contracts and then more mudding, basically. So that's how that's gonna work. Hey, top 20, welcome back! Just the Gamer, well, just about, bro, it's freaking nuts! Hendrix, we are not going to flip it. We are not going to flip it. We're gonna be all good. All good. By the way, we have over 500 people in here in literally just over 20 minutes. That is absolutely insane, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so freaking much. I was kicking the clutch because I was like, ah, are we gonna like... Oh my god, are you gonna do that? Hold on. We gotta get this thing, it's a glitch. We gotta get this thing out of the cargo management area. Because if we don't, it'll literally make us always stay in a cargo management area no matter what truck we're in, which is kind of silly. I hope they fix that glitch before they push the update. I really, really do. PTS goes live. Should do another video about the new fully adjustable controls for the record. Dude, yes! Hammond, don't flip it! Cool Blue Jay, what's up, buddy? All right, let's go ahead and swap over to the GMC again. And, yeah, I, I know we're getting low, but... Used up all the fuel on this Azov, but it'll be worth it because most of my trucks now have above three quarters of a tank, which is really good uh, for me, actually. Really, really good. Nathan, what's up? See you saying hi, man. Well, Jack, um, most of the mods are, like, at least all the official mods are all going to be free. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Watching this thing climb this hill in second gear and just hold it is incredible, dude. Incre- Wow. Dude, it didn't- I thought for sure it was gonna try to downshift into first. And it may here. What a beast, bro. What an absolute beast. That's nuts. That's absolute insanity. The fact that it's staying in second gear for all of this. That's wild that it did that for that entire climb. I am genuinely impressed. Wow. I'm doing really well, Poison Snake. How about you? I'm glad you're doing good. All right, let's see. Whoop. Two good streams. Thank you. Everything's amazing. I appreciate that, buddy. TC. I feel TC will flip very soon. I, uh, I think not. I think you are ye of little faith. <laughs> I think this has off his is well wait i think this as of you said anonymous cow says i think this as of is over underrated so you think this is it is overly underrated that's an interesting way to put it but i mean i think it's an underrated truck i think it's definitely a really good one i really enjoy it but i'm gonna switch out the tires in a little while because somebody in informed me recently that these are actually not the greatest mud tires i thought they were decent but apparently they're not great so i'll be switching them out soon oh no Okay, thank God I can back up. Yeah, it got stuck on the frame, which is something that can happen with these really long wheelbase trucks. Why is it that you can back up just freaking fine, but when it comes to actually going forward, you're like, nope, can't do it. I'm like, all right, that's not what I had in mind, but you, you use that truck to scout? Bro, you're an animal, holy cow. Let's throw an automatic. I've been okay through here in this thing before, so I don't know why I'd be having trouble now. It's, it's again, that low-slung front end. It's going to give us issues, but it'll be all right. We can push through it. There's third gear. See how long we can hold that for. And also, because this truck is so incredibly stable, we're definitely going to be... Uh, we're not going to be too worried about having the uh, the cargo flip off the trailer. 
even though that trailer is not the most stable in the world, I think, you know, since the truck is so incredibly stable, a lot of that will translate to the trailer. Dang, that rock just, like, jammed itself into that trailer's axle. Dang, dude. I flip over the small vehicles, so I just stick to the larger ones. That's fair. They are a lot more stable. How do you play but also talk and read? Uh, carefully. <laughs> Most of them should be, uh, Dillard's Repair Shop. Most of them should be, especially most of the really prominent ones. They should be. I don't know, Matthew. I don't know if I'd call this thing a rock-crawling beast. I'd call it really good, but I don't know if I'd call it a rock-crawling beast. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see on that one. We'll see. Is Beans in this truck? Oh, you better believe he is. Heck yeah, Beans is in this thing. Beans and dice, boys. Dang, she's trying to hold fourth through here. That's that's intense, like, bro. All right. All right, we got two more units of fuel to load. Okay, so that's actually really, really, really good. Like, really good. The fact that we have, like, two more units of fuel we can load means... You, know, you guys know what that means, actually. It means something really fun is about to happen. At least, if it lets me bring it out. Here, let's go ahead and... I'll leave this guy right here for now. <laughs> yes. Recover. Retain. Storage. And sell. Okay, we're good there. Now back to the store. Off-road. Yes. Oh, yes. Y'all had to have missed this thing. I know y'all had to have. I love it. I freaking love it. Yeah, they... Oh. Oh, explore Yukon, North America to find this item. So, I don't know if they've actually put out, like, a freaking location for that yet. I could check. Let me... Ooh, I'm really curious to know. I'm really curious to know. I wonder if Map Runner has those up yet. Because... At the end of the day, I'm kind of like, oh, wait a minute. No way. It's in flooded foothills. Holy smokes, bro. Holy crap. All right. So if the garage is, so flooded foothills, if the garage is right, oh God, where's, oh wait, okay, there's the, it's like right across the freaking, oh my God. <gasps> Oh my god. Bro, what? Yo. Yo, yo, yo. There's no way. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna finish building this real quick. And then... Oh god. And then I'm gonna see if they've actually added in that tuned custom suspension. But I am gonna throw the Tega tires on it because they look so good. High power medium. The Tega tires will also help it from rolling over all the time because they'll widen that, um, that track width. So let's see... I'm going to throw a, uh, let's see, heavy-duty pipe bumper, and I'm going to leave that alone for now. Well, I like cab lights. <laughs> don't, don't at me. I like cab lights, okay? Let's see. What kind of color scheme do we want on this boy? I'll do the blue camo. Oh, no. We got to put beans in it. We can't leave without putting beans in it. Let's do, oh, we'll do the pine tree. And then we'll do Freedom Bird and Shut Up and Take My Winch. And then Your Truck, Your Adventure. And No Road, No Problem. And then we'll do Warning Harsh Driver on the Hood as pre... Oh, wait a minute. We can't put beans in it. What? No bobbleheads in the ANK MK38? Oh, that's annoying. Bro, that's upsetting. That's super upsetting. Wow. So according to Map Runner. That upgrade is, like, right here. Uh, I don't know if that's correct or not. We'll find out. But we can now run Tega tires on it, like, in the base game without a mod. So that's freaking legit. Over 650 people in the stream. Thank you guys so much. Holy crap. 100 Mauro, what's going on, man? It does look, like, even with the normal lifted suspension, like, it looks really good with the Tega tires on it. That's, that's actually really beastly looking really beastly looking okay 
I am going to see if this is actually correct. It wouldn't be here. It would be here? Let me look. Let me make sure. And then, because I don't know if they've actually, like I said, I don't know if they've actually put that. Yeah, that's, that's where they say it is. They say, so Map Runner says the tuned custom suspension for the MK38 is right here. Like, legit. They say it's, like, right there. I don't know. I legitimately don't know. But let's go find out. And then we'll grab the extra fuel units in the MK38. Because I know you guys love the MK38. And I think it fits super well into the environment of the Yukon. So let's head out there. And I'm kind of, like... I'm kind of unsure if this is actually going to be there or not. If it's not, then that means that it'll be there later. Because if it's on Map Runner but not in the game, that means it'll be it'll be there later after an update. You know what I mean? So let's find out. All right, heading on down. These Tega tires do work. They do freaking work on this MK38, my dudes. Look at how huge they are. All right, let's see if if Map Runner has like information that's ahead of what the game has or if it's like actually there i don't know i could be going on a wild goose chase for nothing right now but we'll find out it's mc games to change my name oh okay what's up man i feel like it'll do better once we have a high like once we have the higher suspension but um unfortunately how many contracts have you done uh, well, I'm in progress of reinvigorating the old mines right now. It's the longest contract I've ever had to do. Like, on any map. Ever, basically. Alright, let's see if Map Runner's info is, like, ahead of what is actually here. Because if it's not here, then basically that means Map Runner is, like, ahead of what the general public has. No way! Oh my god! No way! There it is! There is the tuned custom suspension for the ANK MK38 get upgrade! Oh boy! Oh my god! Okay, I am so excited to put this on. This is gonna this is gonna transform this truck. Oh my god! Oh my god! There is the tuned custom! <laughs> oh that's that's so wild. Wow. Let me sell these tires. I don't need these tires. Get some extra money off of that, too. Yeah, freaking 51s, you guys. 51s! Longer than Super Order? Definitely longer than Super Order. It's just because it's harder. And the, um, the item pickups are not all in the same place. Oh my god, I'm so happy we found this tuned custom suspension, though, for the ANK. It's nuts. Look how high up you are now on the inside. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy how high up you are on the inside now. Let's see. We can get fuel from that warehouse, right? I believe. Come on, show me what you got. Unlimited fuel. Okay, yeah, perfect. So we'll go down there and get the last two fuel units. And then we will take it up to the old mine and we'll get it delivered. That way we can really put the ANK to use. And now, the nice thing is, it won't bottom out the bumper in the mud as much. Say hello to literally the proper big boy. This thing will not take no for an answer. You can point it at wherever you want it to go and send it, basically. So ready for these for these maps to come to console? Yeah, exactly. Farmer, now it's even more top heavy, which to be fair, you are right. However, the nice thing about it is the fact that with these Tega tires, it widens the track width and therefore displaces the weight better. So it's actually not as roly poly with the Tega tires, which is really nice. But yeah, mud, it doesn't care about it. It literally does not care about it. Like, it's like, oh, mud? Yeah, don't worry about it. We're good to go. Like, we good. <laughs> Oh my god, L Libbity Bibbity is back with another Libbity Bibbity. 
I'm gonna try and stay on sort of the grass-ish. Cause that way I can keep keep some pace up. The only thing is like, yeah, this thing does drink fuel, but I mean, what are you gonna do? It's a freaking like old school military five ton, basically. Hey, Mythical Gaming is back for another stream. Welcome back, bro. Ooh, the Voron Grad is another good, uh, another good truck that would do really well out here, I think. So the highway transmission and slamming into high gear and hold on! Yep, yeah, right, exactly. That'd be, that'd be nuts. It's actually, like, weirdly high in the front with this suspension. I mean, it's not bad. It prevents you from, bot but from bottoming out in the front, but it's a little higher in the front than it is in the rear. It's interesting. I didn't figure it was going to end up like that. Put it in Tomcat gear and send it. You bet. You freaking bet, bro. <laughs> if you see this, I'm watching this video from the past. Are you now? All right, fuel. Boom, boom. All right, we're about to knock out every, well, not necessarily every single thing, but at least all of the fuel units are about to be complete, boys. Over 700 people in the stream. Oh my God, you guys. The game of Pringle, what's up? Little Dairy, what's good? All right, y'all. Let's see. Oh, right. There's that little, like, vehicle rescue contract. It's like a Dawn or something. And then, oh, yeah, log station, by the way. Like, that's going to be an interesting addition. And you know what? This looks interesting. Let's go out there, shall we? I wonder if we can actually, like, make a crossing somewhere. Is it worth the risk? Probably not. Are we going to do it anyway? Absolutely. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at it just freaking go, like, right through. I gotta remember, though, it is still a roly-poly boy at heart, so I'm gonna have to, like... I'm gonna have to be very careful with it. Very careful with it. I got the snorkel, though. It will make this crossing. I know it will. Just gotta be... Slow but sure. Hey, MK, MK38, boat edition. Heck yeah, dude. Thank you, Kristen Shadrick. I did post the stream in the SnowRunner server. Did you really? Oh my god, buddy. Holy cow. Visit the log station during the stream. I mean, there's not really all that much you can do there right now. I'll probably I'll probably drive by there, but um, but I'm not gonna I'm probably not gonna do much with it um, at this part in the stream. God, I hope there's like a... Ooh, there might be a crossing spot up there. We are on an island at the moment, so that's kind of... That's kind of cool. I'm trying to find another way to get to the mine without having to go all the way around the map. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the way, all the way around the map. Oh, there's a crossing area over there. So there's got to be one. Because there's several of them just kind of scattered about the place. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got this snorkel, though. Sends it into the water. Yeah, exactly. That's... Hey, man. That's what we freaking do. Oh, boy. All right. We got wood planks over there. And then here, we have a little crossing back to that. So I'm thinking that over there, there may be some kind of crossing. Let's find out. Use the winch. Am I the... Please tell me I'm not the only one that let, that uses the winch to help me turn. Gavin Kurtz, what's up, buddy? How are you doing out there? Brent Loomis, what's up? And Tanner, love the video CC. Thank you so much. All right. How am I going to get... Well, there should be a little pathway over there. I don't know who decided to build a house on this freaking island, but... They like their privacy. That's for dang sure. Is it worth it to buy Snowrunner? Absolutely. Pro Trucks, yee yee. Doug, Warner, or Doug Wagner. What's up, man? Uh, let's see. Catherine Nunes, my stream is laggy. Uh, refresh your stream if you're having lag issues. Um, I'm actually watching it on one of my PCs, um, and I don't have any lag issues on my end, so try refreshing it and seeing what happens. I don't know if I trust this. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh god. I don't want to lose the truck. I'm going to actually turn around. I don't want to lose the truck. I'm going to make an executive decision on this one. I don't want to lose the truck. Oh, it does dip down right there. Yep. They do not want you to go that way. Use a winch to help stabilize myself. Okay. Now, I do see some rocks down there, and that usually indicates a path... I'm trying to discover another pathway, but I don't want to lose this load of fuel barrels. Still a little unsure, because this current is crazy, too. Woo! Yeah, that's all super deep. That's all super deep. There's that, and there's also this. The problem with that is that I also lost a truck in here. Yeah, it's... It's a nasty crossing, I'll tell you that. And they don't really make it... it they don't really make it easy, either. Let's see, I actually flat, I accidentally flattened another tree with the twin steer. Oops! Yep, yeah, right exactly. Good lord. Let me turn it around, turn it around, turn it around, and go! I love how I use trees to, like, brace myself when I'm going to turn around. I'm like, yeah? <laughs> it's like, hey, tree, you got a problem? Dude, somebody in, this ch in the chat was like, send it, and I'm assuming he meant send it across the river. And I'm like, bruh, I don't want to lose this truck yet. I just don't. A-N-K, mud easy. A-N-K, top heaviness? Ah, I can't help that. <laughs> nope, don't like that. Ooh, this might be the key. I can see the other side of the river, although... Oh my god. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, this is terrifying. I am in boat mode right now. I am legitimately in boat mode right now. You just gonna use vanilla trucks? Uh, we're, we've got mods that we're gonna use a little bit later on because I'm gonna swap between Yukon and mudding and Yukon and mudding. Actually, Josh, that's where we're gonna go in a little bit. I just wanna drop off this fuel first, you know? Freaking full send, exactly. trying to find a crossing point because I feel like there's got to be one out here. I know I'm starting to run a little low on fuel, about to get to half a tank, which is not... Ooh, this might, this might work. This might be our cross point. Being easy. It'll buff out. Yeah, exactly. Being easy, being easy, being easy. I'm trying to drive with the current. That current is gnarly, too. Very gnarly current. But I've got the rocks to brace me. This is it. This is the crossing point. Oh, my God. We found our crossing point. I did not think we were going to be able to cross that river. That river's huge. Oh, my God. That's wild. Will there be mudding in Monster Max as the thumbnail suggests? Absolutely, Michael Russell. Absolutely. I mean, on Yukon? Uh, maybe a little bit later. Well, now that we've found, I tell you what, now that we've found a crossing point and we're about 45 minutes in, we are going to actually beam ourselves over to Lime's Mud Park for a little while and do a little bit of mudding. So let's go and stop this thing, return to the main menu, and I have another video coming about Lime's Mud Park very, very soon. Um, <laughs> do you go bass fishing? You're right. But no, all right, I'm going to go ahead and I have another video coming on Lime's Mud Park really, really soon. So there's already a few mods that are kind of like that are kind of chilling out in there. But I think I'm probably going to like bring in a well, I don't know if I'll bring in a couple more or not. We're definitely going to explore um, explore some of the areas in the trucks that we have. But I also you'll see how we got here in the video coming soon. So welcome to Lime's Mud Park on the, well with the Monster Max with the 
hauling tires, which I'm actually going to recover real quick. And um, let me recover everything, actually. So the Duramax is chilling. It's fine. And then we have Red's first gen with a trailer. And I'm going to actually detach the trailer, leave it right there. And then just recover that. So we got both of these guys back here. And now I am going to also throw the monster truck tires on the Monster Max and attempt some of these, like, obstacles with it because I've never attempted any of the obstacle course stuff. There we go. Look how much bigger it is than, like, what is this, an LML Duramax? Because I know that the Monster Max is based off of what? an, an uh, Not an LBZ, but... An L... I can't even remember. What came before the LBZ? I don't even know. My Duramax guys out in the chat need to, like, need to tell me. Because I know that, like, pretty sure that's an LML, the blue one. But I'm not even sure on that one. So I don't know. My Duramax guys out in the chat have to tell me. I know that, like, 06 is an LBZ. But I'm not, like, completely super versed on Duramaxes. Like, to that level, anyway. Will you climb this? Uh, yes. Yes, you will. Without breaking a sweat, actually. <laughs> Oof. Alright. It's like, that was easy. Let's try some of these other obstacles while we're here. Let's also hit the... Oh! Is it gonna make it? Oh! Oh! We're all good! L-O-Y? Okay, Diesel. That's what I, that's what I thought. my way up and over so wait i was right i the the monster max is an lbz blue one's an lml that's what i thought or no wait or uh, ah never mind these letics says lly oh my god it does bother me though like a little bit that the that the dev tools aren't in here at the moment it's kind of like unfortunately one of those things but let's take this thing to the little monster park. I love the little monster park. You guys have to see it with this thing. I haven't actually used this thing in the monster park before. I've used it in the mudding park with the other tires, which you guys are going to see in a video coming soon. But let's see. Oh, God. Winch the side of your truck to a pole and then send it in high. It's send it in high and go around the pole. It's hilarious. I, I might do that. Not quite yet, but I definitely actually want to do that. Dane, Laura, what's up, dude? I definitely want to... Oh, God. I'm going to hit the pole. Yep. I definitely want to try that, though. That sounds like a blast. I love that we have, like, kind of a freaking highway. Kind of. Like, not 100% a highway, but sort of a highway. Oh, God. Stop! These tires are the most freaking slidey thing on pavement. Like, it's not even, like, drift slidey. It's like ice slidey. I mean, I get that they weren't meant to go on pavement, really, but ow! Got proper mud out there, but that's not where we're going. There's a monster park out here, which is hilarious. Oh god! No! 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 As long as you're driving it straight, you're all right. Ah, here we go. Don't drive and read chat. Ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, send it. I don't know. I like that's. Oh, oh god. Oh. Um. Snowrunner monster jam, I guess. It's not always perfect, but sometimes it is. <laughs> oh, there you go, Diesel. Nobody. Monster Max at high speed. Rotate. Yeah, pretty much. Rotation. 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 Oh, God. Is it bad that I wanted to do a back... I wanted to try to make it do a backflip. Like, I really wanted to try to make it do a backflip. Bruh, you are crashing every time. Well, I'm trying to make the thing do a backflip. That, well, it got kind of close. 
It got kind of close, but I doubt it'll actually, like, I doubt the physics will let it do it. freaking backflip time to get the record yeah exactly we made it to a freaking backflip oh my god i'm i'm so proud of that i am so proud of that like i know it wasn't the prettiest backflip in the world but my god am i happy about that that was wonderful <laughs> that was amazing i love it now let's see how long we can sort of freestyle ish before, like, before we end up on the thing's roof again. Come on! Oh, wow. I wanted more speed out of that. Thanks. Oh, God. Turn into it. Turn into it. Turn into it. Oh! I'm all right. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, jeez. Yo, we got over 800 people in the stream. What's good, my dudes? Oh, a little, like, sort of 180. But it didn't really, like... It didn't really stay in the air long enough. There we go. Got a pretty decent freestyle going right now. I just don't want to crash and ruin it. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, yep. May or may not have spoken like a couple of seconds too soon on that one. Just a couple of seconds too soon. Alright, let's see how long we can keep like an actual freestyle going for. Come on. I'm gonna actually drop like back out of the arena and start fresh. Completely fresh. Completely fresh. Game with a cup. What's up, dude? All right, it's time to start fresh. Let's see what we can do. All right, spin it around. All right, y'all. Three, two, one, go! Let's make this happen. All right, let's see how long we can actually keep this freestyle going. Oh. We're okay so far. Small wheelie. I'm not going to necessarily be attempting like crazy tricks right off the bat or anything. I may try to finish with a backflip, but oh god. Oh, that's a little sketchy. Yo, look at that wheelie though. Okay. I'm going to try this other jump. I'm going to try to sort of do like almost like a kangaroo jump. One jump, followed by another jump. Followed by almost flipping over, but it's okay. Trey is like, yee yee, and I'm like, oh, you better believe, bud. <laughs> this one's weird. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, jeez. I could try and do a backflip right here. I might really, really, really regret it. But you know what? gonna happen oh is it gonna have Hendricks Bailey with the 99 cent super chat thank you so much all in due time Frank jeez bro all in due to all in due time well that's not good maybe if I hit it sideways hold on all of y'all that asked for a barrel roll you might be about to get it Dude, if we land on our freaking wheels, this is gonna be it's gonna be ridiculous. Oh, oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh my god. Oh no. Might have missed that. Oh, that physics. I don't think it knows what physics are. Eh. It could not physics at that present moment in time. It certainly, 100%, could not physics at all. 
Alright, let's head for the, like, the other mud section now. I think we've determined that this is not a very good monster truck simulator, although the course is great, but, like, the SnowRunner physics system doesn't seem to enjoy monster trucks all that much. <laughs> Send it! Oh my god! Well, thanks for that. May or may not have oofed ourselves, because that is what I call a big oof. A big old oof. I want to try that again, because I want to get that. That's like a full-on proper mega jump, and I want to actually get that. I love how it's like, nope, I'm not going to flip you over. It's like, I'm not going to flip you over. I'm just not. I'm not going to flip you over. I'm like, you could, you could, it'd be great if you did. <laughs> Come on, start. Sometimes this thing doesn't want to start. It is kind of weird. All right, let's go ahead and hit this thing again. We're gonna make it happen this time. <laughs> Issues. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, that, I might have overshot that a bit. Ooh. I think we need to maybe not hit it with so much speed. I think we're going too fast. I think we may or may not be going just a tad bit too fast. Oh, no worries, Jake. Glad you enjoyed the videos, man. And the streams. Why is it so wonky? I mean, it happens. You also got to remember, I'm sending it at, like, max speed. Physics exists sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. They don't always be like that, but sometimes they do. See, this should be okay. You have to hit it perfectly, otherwise the physics freak out. They, they really do freak out, though. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the other Duramax. I'm excited, I'm gonna get the other Duramax. Let's see what happens. It does have a little bit of body damage though, so I'm gonna repair it and then we'll go back out. Custom modeled ramps on the Europe track? Bro, I, that's really sick. I did say I would check it. I did say I would check it out, just not like immediately because we're not quite done seeing what we can do out here. <laughs> Love the big sends. Hey, I mean, y'all asked me to send it, so. Unfortunately, as of right now, you can't put beans in this Duramax, but God, it clanks into gear. Dude, okay, it's in auto reverse right now. Watch what happens when I shift it into like, oh God. Dude, it slams the gears. Now granted, I do have the like fully, fully tuned Duramax in it, so it is fast, but like the amount of torque it has is insane. And if you put it in high at like low speed, you can make it pick a tire up like a freaking trophy truck. I love the interior on it too. Blast through all of those reeds. Six gear! Six gear, four wheel drift, flat out sending it. All right, full send. Oh God, too much send. Well, maybe not. Oh my God, this thing levels out super well. What? Dude, this thing levels out so, oh no. 
all good. <laughs> Thing levels out actually really, really well when you take it off jumps. That's hilarious. Dude, a lot of people are asking about the Yurf track. All right, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna have to hit the Yurf track soon. I need to make sure I have the Yurf dog turned on. We're gonna, we're gonna send the big jump. We're gonna send the big jump. Wolf, what's up, dude? By the way, guys, if y'all want to stay as up to date as possible with everything we're doing here on the channel, make sure you join up on the Discord. Um, Diesel Addict just threw the link out there in the chat. Oh God, the crooked. Oh. That really throws you at a weird angle. Thankfully, we have Monster Max down here to rescue the other Duramax. Tyler's, like, probably making about a 1,000 horsepower, and honestly, with that tune, it probably is. It should be good in the mud, though. Let me repair it real quick. Good to go. Yo, this mud's a little deep for it, actually. <laughs> What's up, Caleb Coleman? How you doing? If you get into the slightly shallower mud, we'll run it in high. It's just, like, not the most pleased about it. It's such a good-looking truck, though. So good. Why are you so... I was like, why the heck are you going so slow, bro? I know you're faster than that. I need to figure out how to how to do like a boosted launch in this thing again. Yo, Odegaard with the five dollars super chat. Look, lawn dart Chevy. Oh God. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Getting everything spooled. There's your boosted launch, kind of. Boing up. Oh. It does honestly, like, do pretty decent boost launches, honestly. Oh, crap. I forgot it doesn't have an extended winch on it, though. Frog's Tesla Triangle Mobile. Y'all will see that in a video soon. What engine mod do you have? Jesus. It's, it's powerful. Let me see if I can actually do a real proper boosted launch this time. There you go. Oh my god. Dude, that was like probably one of the best boosted launches I've ever done. Oh, that's legit. That's legit. Let's try it again. Do that one more time. Oh, wheels off. Let it go. Oh, dude, it digs and goes. Holy cow, it digs and goes. I wonder how Monster Max would do with that. I'm very curious now. The engine's fine. The gearbox is fine. Zing Gosley with the five Australian dollars super chat. Keep it up. Thank you so much, bro. You keep it up too. Thank you so much for your support. I really, really, really appreciate you. Oh, it's going to be harder to do it in this. You have to use neutral for the Monster Max. So it's not necessarily harder. It's just different. Not bad. Not terrible. Bring the fast comings down there. You know, the the pretty one under the opening hood on that 6x6. Six six. Oh, my God. <laughs> I I should, though. I should. Before we uh before we go to the Yurf map, I really should. Where are the... Oh, what the heck? Hold on. Pretty sure I have it on. Hey, there it is. There it is. All right, let's see. Uh, extreme R&D engine. An extreme R&D gearbox. Let's see. 
Jack suspension soft. That'll work. And we're going to do some pretty dang huge mud tires. Whatever we can fit underneath it. And let's see. 39 inch mud doubles. 40. Oh, God. <gasps> Holy crap. 41 inch mud triplets. Oh, my God. Well. Eh. This is going to be, this is going to be wild. This is going to be wild on like every scale, every single scale. Literally, just about every single scale. Like, I don't know how this would even like, wait, can we, oh, what? Oh, it always has. Oh, no, never mind. We can take them off. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that then. And let's see. Bumpers. Eh. No added mass. That's fine. So we're not going to be towing anything with it, per se. Uh, ooh, mirror housing black. Powder-coated paint. We'll do black exhaust. And the normal. Yeah, we'll do it in red. Oh, yes. We got beans on that dash. So yeah, this is the most ridiculous thing on the face of the earth. Let's see. Hood open. Oh my god. All right. I've never actually like opened that up properly before. Look at that. Look at the detail in there, guys. Look at the freaking detail in there. That is nuts. Tricky to get that through the trees. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be tricky to get that through the trees. Like, good God. But still, that's amazing. Tailgate, open, close. Oh, that's so sick. Okay, yeah, we gotta go take this thing for a run. <laughs> Why is this so... Oh, my God. The, the vibrations in the cab are uh, a little ridiculous. It's not really the best at turning. Seriously, though. Let me see, actually, if I can drive it up this obstacle. It probably can. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. So, yeah. Um, short work of that one. Like, real short work of that one. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, as we just drive right off the freaking edge. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh! I was going straight, and it wanted to... It wanted to go the other way. Turning circle is a little large. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? This really is the Send It Mobile. Like, it really genuinely is. Era 404, what's up, buddy? How are you doing? How are you doing out there in the chat? I forgot that this thing had an eight speed gearbox. Turn, you. Oh, God. I was like, turn, you behemoth. Turn. All right, Mythical Gaming, we'll see ya. Hello, FPV is trying to get me to use the horn, and I would, but, like, the problem with horns is that, like, sometimes, sometimes they can be, like, you can run into copyright issues with horns, and even if, like, even if there shouldn't be any issues, it, it, it's, there sometimes are anyway, just because of the way things work, so I, I, I wish I could blow the horn, but I usually don't, because, like, a long time ago, I got hit with, like, basically like a sketchy claim because I used a horn and so now I, I don't really use horns because of that. That tr the fire thrust is like, that truck is a thick boy. And I'll tell you what, this is a thick old boy. Properly thick old boy. Oh god. Go, 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 go. High range is not! Oh jeez. I think I bottomed it out a little bit. All 
Alright, we're gonna hit the big jump. We're gonna hit the big jump. I don't know if we'll actually be able to, like... Oh my god, go in a... Thank you. Go in a straight line! Okay, high just makes it do weird stuff. It goes the same speed. Yeah, I know, dude. We were over 800 people in the street for a minute there. That is amazing. Yeah, I'm just going to, like, keep it in auto mode and try to hold it in seventh gear because high range doesn't make it go any faster and it just kind of walks around weirdly. faster than sixth, bud? Or is sixth all you do? We must have transmission damage or something. Because high isn't even that fast anymore. Oh, God. Hold on. Thank you. All repaired. Oh, wait. Oh, that's weird. If it's not, like, fully filled with fuel, it starts to run into problems. That's very odd. That's super odd. Well, what's up, Joshua out there? What's good? Hold, please. Ugh. Slow, but thick. Is there a train horn? I, still, sometimes you can run into, like... The triples slow it down quite a bit. Yeah. I would imagine they do, even with, like, the extreme engine. Our fuel isn't in the red anymore, which is good. We should shift to seventh now. Or maybe not. It's trying, though. It's pretty dang good in mud, though. I mean, like, it goes when it comes to mud. Uh, I switched it back to leaders because I found that, like, it was weird because the game is kind of designed to display in leaders, and so some things, like, make less sense, if that makes sense. Um, like, once, once you switch it to gallons, I just kind of switched it back to leaders. I had been on gallons for a while, and I wasn't the biggest fan of gallons after a while, so like... Let's see, Jamal Bonner HO, what's up? He says hello from Germany, what's going on, man? How to break an Axle 101, good lord, do you see that thing, like, how it would have just snapped in half? God, that is wild. Now, you know what I'm actually going to do? Oh, yeah. I know exactly what I'm going to do now. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Main menu. Let me make sure. I know I have the Yurf track. Let me make sure I have the go-kart. Yes, I am 100% sure I equipped the top engine, puppy. I am 100% sure. Like, I double-checked. It was the, like, the extreme R&D. Yeah, the one that I equipped was the Extreme R&D. So, let me go to my mod browser. And let's see. Yurf Derg. And enable that. And enable that as well. Now back. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, new game. Custom scenarios. Yurf dog track. Oh, I'm so ready for this. And yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and we'll race that one to do this. I'm really excited for the Yurf track. It's gonna be this is gonna be interesting. And then after this, what we'll probably do is we'll use a probably like a base base engine Duramax to help us like tow and explore in the Yukon. Alrighty then. I'm assuming we have to make our way to the garage. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm so assuming we have to make our way to the garage. All right, 999, we'll see you soon. Because this dawn is a bit weird. And I don't think this track was meant for the dawn. I've already gotten the dawn into trouble. I love how the dawn comes with a diff lock. It's hilarious. Zan Gelsey with the $5 Australian Super Chat. Do a backflip in the cart. I, I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. First thing we need to do is actually buy the go-kart. <laughs> it's like all over the place. Garage discovered! Move to garage. Five grand, huh? Right, let's see, retain. So, oh, okay. Well, I know what we can sell to get some monies. All right, truck store. Now, where is the Yurf dog? There it is. Oh, it's only $1,750. Okay, well... That's fair then, I guess. Upgraded engine, the Mo Gears gearbox, and the bruh. The fact that they lock those away is super annoying. I'm just gonna use the uh, the normal Yurf Dog tires. Autonomous Scout. Nah, just gray wheels. Gray. All oh, righty then. Dixie Whistle. All right, we'll see you when you get back, bro. So let's see. I'm gonna go with the orange one this time. Can't do any interior upgrades. All right. The Yurf Dog track, eh? All right, y'all. Y'all ready for this? This is gonna be nuts. Cam, what's up, dude? Kingston, what's going on out there in the chat? Oh, boy. So this is the official... First go-kart track, dedicated go-kart track out here in SnowRunner. So SnowRunner plus go-karts plus go-kart racing. Eh, let's see what we can do. I'm very interested and I'm very excited. And uh, three, two, one, fire it up and let's go! Come on! Oh God, oh, the custom ramps are fun. Oh geez. Oh, this is great. Oh, the rocks make it interesting. Help. Oh no. Almost tipped it over just then. Make sure you hit the jumps like fairly straight on. What if we could complete a lap without like binning the go-kart without pulling a Hammond? Yeah, you did, Red. You did. Oh, jeez. Almost there. Oh, God, that's a big ramp. Oh, dear. Whoa. Oh, jeez. A little bit of damage off of that, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's just the suspension. You don't have to worry about that. Suspension isn't important, is it? Flat out. Flat out. Oh boy. Oh! That's amazing. Yo, this is this track is balanced perfectly for this little thing. I love it. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, this is great. These lighted apparently just had the worst idea. That's brilliant. I want to hear it. Off we go! Okay, yeah, you must be going at basically the speed of sound to get that one right. Uh, at least you gotta be in, like, max gear. Otherwise, this happens. <laughs> Welcome to Work in Progress Modding, y'all. Let's do one more lap and see if we can do, like, a fairly clean one. Whoa, this section of the track is difficult. Oh, no. Okay, we're all right again. Whoa. Oh, jeez, this section is extremely bouncy. All right, here we go. 
lap, oh God, lap number two. Don't run into the start finish line. That would not be the best way to finish that lap. Avoid the, avoid the inside line right there. It, um, it's not good for you. <laughs> not good for your cart. Really, buddy? Oh my God. All right, come on, go, 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 go. There it is. Fourth gear and above does really well off the jumps, but if you're in third, be prepared to get yeeted. Cause you gonna be yeeted, I'll tell you what. Earn! You understeering, oh God, understeering, blundering, blunder machine. All right, let's go again. Get it! Oh! Oh, we're fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're just fine. Stay in that throttle. Well, see, that was fine. Ish. Brakes. Got into a bit of a nasty understeer situation there. Up and over. Go, go, go. Oh, 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 that backed it in. Don't worry about it. There's fourth gear. Will we survive? Nope. Man, you have to hit that perfectly. Otherwise, you literally will not survive that. Legit, you will not survive that. If, if you don't hit it in like fifth gear at maximum speed. Well, this track is brilliant. It's hilarious. It is absolutely freaking hilarious. I love this place. Is this cart going to be on console? Dude, I, I I would hope the cart would be on console. All right, load game. We're going to head back to Flooded Foothills now, especially now that we know the location of the ANK MK38 lifted suspension. And I think we're also going to probably pick up a Duramax to use, but we're going to use it in kind of like pretty base-ish trim. So that it's not, like, ultra overpowered or anything like that. Good God. We gotta finish delivering this fuel. But we also... Let's see. The 770's out here. The Longhorn... Where's the Longhorn? Wait a minute. Oh, 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 okay. I was like, what the heck? Where? Why is the... Heh. How much money do I have, by the way? I need to find out. I need to go back and check in on the garage real quick because, ooh, only $28,000? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, dear. I don't even think... Yeah, I don't even have enough to afford the Duramax. I need to sell a thing. And unfortunately, I had two 770Gs, but it was like, no, you only get one. And I'm like, all right, Mr. Nut, what's up, dude? Yeah, no, it was like, no, you only get one. And I'm like, thanks, bud. All right, so now we're out here. We're actually quite close, I think. We might be able to make this fuel last. We might be able to make this fuel last until we get there. Now, granted, we do have, like, the extreme suspension on this thing now, or the tuned custom that we found earlier on the stream, which, by the way, if you guys want to know where that is, it is right yeah like literally right there right there is where your um your tuned custom suspension for the mk38 is going to be and now we're gonna head out and see if we can complete this fuel delivery with the mk38 and then after that we might sell it and buy a uh buy that duramax that way we'll sort of have like a mod in our campaign but it'll be kind of like a base model scout you know what i mean bringing a lunatic and a twin steer or an ANK. So basically a track obstacle. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see if we can... Yeah, it's gonna be making a left. I've never been this way. It's gonna be intense, but I've never been this way. Let's find out. Let's find out what's up here. Oh, 
Oh god, this looks intimidating. Glad I brought the Tega tires. All right, Otis Jr., we'll see you when you get back, bro. Gabe Rogers, what's up, man? I see you saying hi out there. Well, it's not that intimidating, I guess. Threw it high. Let's get it done. Oh, boy. All right. You... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hold on. I want a run-up. I want to power up that thing in high. There you go. Catch it. Catch the gear. All right, now I got to stay flat out. Oh, it's climbing. She's doing it. Dude, this is a, just a massive, like, washout. That is wild. Oh, if it starts bouncing, it's going to stall. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was going to start bouncing if it, or, well, I knew it was going to stall if it started bouncing on us. Because what happens is it binds up the axles. But brothers, what's up, man? You got Trent Jones is saying hi to everybody out here. What's good, man? All right, let me verify where we're going again. All right, we got to make a left, and then we got to stay along that to get the gold mine. It's actually an interesting secondary way to the gold mine. I really like it. Gives you an option besides going all the way around the map. Because going all the way around the map can sometimes get a little bit, um, little bit uh, frustrating. If you knows what it means. That's going to be what? Bricks? Yeah. Don't need bricks at the moment, but I may later. More cold, more gold. Oh boy. Let's go. And let's also try not to flip over. This truck, um, Mega Blood Axe, I need this rig. And I'm like, yes, you do. Fortunately, everybody will be able to get their hands on the tuned custom suspension for the ANK when this, uh, when phase two hits consoles. Mm hmm. See, Wiggins, um, Offered Outlaw streams are Wednesdays, bro. Oh, God. Oh, God! Ah! I thought that would be enough. No, not again! Oh, no. Oh, no! Ah! I've been bamboozled. Yep, I have, uh, I have been heckin' bamboozled. My bed is bent. My truck is, um, not in a good way. Yeah. Oh, God, they're right there. Okay, well, my Azov is right there with a crane. Okay, well. Detached trailer. Well, that was our first flippy boy scenario of the stream. <laughs> I love this. Like, he flipped. Yes, I was waiting for it. Oh, God. Uh, our twin steer is heckin' slammed, bud. But, yeah, luckily we had a crane, like, super close by. Tiny Gamer, um, phase two should be coming, I'm hoping, probably within the next, like, few weeks or so-ish. Like, I think. I, I think I would hope. Crossing my fingers and hoping for the best on that one. It's just over the next hill. Like, you really don't have to worry about it. It's literally... Okay, yeah, it is literally right over the next hill. We will be A-okay. Will it stay in high and A, not get stuck, and B, not stall? Yeah, we will be just fine. Luckily, we have... All right, Zane, we'll see when you get back. Oh, God. Don't flip the crane truck as well. If you flip the crane truck, things will not be good. I don't want that. I didn't want that. Hold on. Hammond, you blithering idiot. You've done it again. The problem here is the fact that now... I have to move the ANK again. 
I'm literally gonna move it into the easiest loading spot I could ever possibly think of. Literally directly under the dang crane. Alright, crane mode, bud. What the heck? I hate when it freaking does this. There we go. Do I know why it does it? No, I have no idea, but it sometimes does, and it's very frustrating. All right, spin you around. I promise that this reinvigorating the old mines contract will eventually come to a finishing point, but God, it is not an easy contract by any freaking means. Okay, we'll pack it and then unpack it. Switch back to the Azov, back to crane mode. God! Happened! Yeah, pretty much. Alright, Hammond, this way. Up you go, Hammond! Hey, as long as it's in the truck, it's in the truck. <laughs> hey, there it is. Also, there you go. Reset the afternoon. And also, change the back of the Azov and restore and reset the crane. Get you out of here. A <laughs> perfect parking spot. Got a giant, like, wheel chalk in the form of a freaking rock. We don't have much fuel, but... Yeah, I, I, I saw that for... Oh, my God! I hate this. I hate this right now. This is so infuriating. Well, Hammond, you blithering idiot. That one I blame on Frank. And I don't normally br blame Frank for things, but that I blame Frank for because we were fine and then Frank added me, like, he was like, at me in the chat and I was like, what's up? And then he was like, and then I was like, yeah, we're gonna flip over now. And I'm like, bruh, really? But it's not Frank's fault, not in the least. I only say that to moderately poke. And I can't really flip the dang thing over from that angle anyway, which sucks. It also won't lift it. There you go. You'll be okay. No, you won't. Oh, God. Oh, it's even worse off now. Oh. This has become one of the actual most thing. One of the actual most infuriating things I think I've ever had to do in SnowRunner. That's okay, Frank. No worries, buddy. I didn't mean it in a bad way. <laughs> well, that ain't gonna work either. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna just do this with the truck. Cause this thing isn't really gonna roll over. I mean, it will eventually if we really screw up, but I don't think that we're going to be that bad off with this thing. That truck is about to be okay. Oh my god, the way it keeps positioning itself is horrible. It just wants to keep rolling over. What an infuriating thing. It just wants to keep rolling over. Oh, God. I get what I deserve, apparently. Oh, dear. I fear that I have moderately annoyed Mr. Frank. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, Travis. We'll see ya. Oh dear, I'm in trouble now.
Yes. Spin it around. I can still reload the cargo, and it'll be just... Don't you dare. All right, it's good. I'm stopping you. Dude, I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm just loading them now. Attach the front bumper and let her rip. Yeah, exactly. How, how could you do this? I don't know. I... How could I do this? Bro, I have no idea. All I know is that I pulled a major Hammond. I went full Hammond on this one. Nice. <laughs> Not nice! Oh God! I am even more mad than I was before. This just keeps getting worse. This literally just keeps getting worse. Now it's down the hill. If y'all wanted a stream that had fails in it, good God. Don't be a, oh my god. Dude. Hammond would be proud. Yeah, I'm sure he would be. Because <laughs> I've made a blithering idiot of myself. Did that work? Alright, that worked. Uses five liters a minute idling. You've got to be kidding me. Alright. Gonna make this work. Gonna restore the crane. Let you do it? No, I refuse. No. I will let the, I, I will finish this. I will not give up. I genuinely. What if, what if you could get the A and K with the crane? I'd, I'd so be down for that. Especially right now. Oh, wave goodbye to the fuel. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, I really hope we can back back up this hill because this is where my freaking fuel went. Hey, buddy. Let's pull it up, up, up. Oh boy. Now somehow I'm gonna have to get out of here. Without winching. <laughs> oh my god. No way! Alright, nobody can ever tell me ever again that this thing is not a beast. Look at what it just backed up. Oh my god! Wow! Look at what it just reversed up! Oh my god! That is, that is, that's the wildest thing I've ever seen, I think. Wildest thing I've ever seen this thing do. Alright. About to drop this off, finally. Turn it, lower it. <laughs> Perfect loading. Perfect freaking loading. Stop engine. All right, let's fire this guy up. Let's get out of here. I, dude, I swear if I freaking roll again, I swear. The crane winch needs to be separate from the winch winch. I agree. I absolutely 100% agree. I swear if I roll again. Oh, I'm going to be so mad. All right, come on, ANK. Come on. We will make this. I promise. Let's go. Not bad. 
Yes! If, dude, if we rolled like 10 feet before the objective, I'd be so mad. Our cargo almost came out. Wait a minute. There we go. Half of it wasn't packed. Dang! Oh dear God, Mr. Nut. <laughs> I don't know about that, Frank. Yo! All right, fuel's done. The fuel is done. I am now going to recover, retain, and sell the ANK. Not that I don't like it or anything. Not that it's bad. I just want to experiment with some other trucks. And I think now I might actually bring Roro's Duramax back out. Because we can do a very moderate build. We'll do like, we'll leave it stock. And let's see. Built Allison with Atlas Transfer Case. And then we'll do stock suspension, actually. Just keep it super, like, you know, ooh, Mickey Thompson Baja Pros. 40-inch Baja Pros. I can get down with that. Super balanced. Nothing crazy. Lockers. And should we do bed junk? Kind of going back and forth. Pack the fuel. Yeah, exactly. No, the fuel's good. Fuel's good. But let's see. Kind of debating. Like, I'll probably do the bed junk. I mean, I just want to keep it as balanced and fair as possible. Uh, if I'm trying to keep it balanced and fair, I probably shouldn't put it in the back. <laughs> Plus re Oh, my God. You know what? I'm going to keep it balanced and fair by not putting that in the back. I'm going to put a fusion bumper on the back. And the front, I'm going to leave stock. Race line bead locks. And we'll paint it. Let's paint it maybe. Let's paint it blue. Or we could do a white. Let's do blue. I like the blue. The blue looks good. We don't really have any interior customization on it. But we can pull trailers with it. So it definitely helps there. All right, concrete slabs, huh? Scout flatbed. Oh, we can do a ramped flatbed. I'm not sure about that. What's the Yeti full of? I have no clue. What's up, Tucker Baker? How's it going out there? Let's see. That military freightliner uh, pulled a huge semi-trailer in a module like it wasn't there. I didn't even have to winch it until the trailer got high centered. That is freaking wild. That is absolutely wild, bro. I already have one ramp flatbed. I'll do a scout flatbed on this one. So we need metal rolls and concrete slabs. There's one metal roll left over there. What about concrete slabs? We got two metal rolls over there. And at the railway station, we have... Four metal rolls, two concrete slabs. Where are we going to get the rest of these dang concrete slabs anyway? Not the wide flatbed. Concrete slab, zero. Metal rolls, zero. Jeez, we may need to find some other pickup zones. Because we're running out of... Oh, man. We're running out of areas to pick that stuff up. I don't know why this isn't active as anything. And we also still have a couple of um, a couple of watch points to find. Okay, so we should probably go to the train station first. Probably go to the train station and grab a concrete slab. Well, should we do metal rolls? Well, let's put the metal rolls on the Duramax. I know that was like, I had to do a lot of thinking about that one. Homeboy, what's up, dude? How's it going, man? All right, yeah, we're going to take the Duramax down to get those metal rolls. And even with the stock engine, she ain't slow, that's for sure. I almost wish it was a little slower, just so, like, 
it felt a little bit more balanced to the normal trucks. Because I know that a lot of people always, like, um, they always, like, freak out whenever I use a... Well, not a lot of people, but, like, some people freak out whenever they see me use a mod in, like, a campaign map. Because they're like, that's so unfair, you're cheating! And I'm like, it, I try to make them as balanced as I can. Like, I, I try to make them as close to balanced as I can. Zachary Moon, what's up, dude? God, these Baja pros are beasts in the mud. Especially when you're in first gear, you know what I mean? Bro, really? Come on. I'm gonna make my way down to the train station. Making my way downtown, basically. You're working on my doom now. Oh, God. Yeah, the spool, though. The spool is insane. It sounds so good. And then the interior... God, come on. Come on. I'm flooring it now. Do you use XO Froggy's mods? Yeah, I use them from time to time, Jacob. Mm -hmm. He just did a cyber truck, which I'm definitely gonna be doing soon on the channel. Now this thing is throwing rooster tails like nobody's business. I'm gonna put it in just low plus. Because low plus, I mean in low plus you're fine. Like even in like standard low, you're fine. Don't necessarily need to do uh, need to do high range everywhere. What? Did Tomcat just say you didn't need to be in Tomcat gear everywhere? Mark your calendars. Mark your freaking calendars, boys. We'll do that task here soon. Not immediately, but soon. Half throttle, first gear. Usually, like, works fine through here. Reminds me of parts of northern Washington up in the mountains. That makes sense because, like, I mean, it's close to Canada, you know? Yo, holy, cr holy cow, Gather Curtis. That's amazing. Let's see. Do you know when consoles are getting the update for the maps and the ANK lift kit? Um, hopefully within the next few weeks, next couple of weeks, I... I I don't know. I, I'm really, really hoping that console gets within the next couple of weeks. I'm currently waiting on more information from the developers. Hit level 15 on Sorter yesterday. Dude, that's awesome, Christian Chadrick. Congrats. Oh, I forgot about the little shortcut. You can make your way around the mud by, like, taking this little shortcut up through the, uh, up over the rocks. In a truck that's small like this one, it's, it's super easy to do. Super easy to do. And then you make your way through the trees and then make your way right back out again. You're good. A okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Every so often you get some suspension damage, but I left a damageable suspension on it because I wanted to keep it like fairly close to vanilla trucks, you know? I know it's a little faster than they are still, but I figured, I mean, I'll get it as close as I can. Working on your doom in one map, Red is brainstorming with me. Oh, no. Well, that sounds like it's gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, we'll refuel at the fuel station up here and then we'll throw those metal rolls on at the train station, and then we'll also throw the rest of those concrete slabs behind the Longhorn. Got that done. Let's get out of here. And since we are a small boy compared to some of the other vehicles, we are going to head down the train tracks so we don't have to deal with that gigantic mud pit that they call a road. <laughs> Choo-choo, boys. Dude, this thing, it's so funny because the offset makes it stick, like, to the train tracks exactly perfectly. That's wonderful. Freaking lift to Duramax going train mode. Smoking like one, too. <laughs> Bro, you got that locomotive tune. 
All right, now we'll make our way back onto the main road. That's a very simple way. Like, trailers need more friction. Yeah, let's see. I can see what they're talking about. You will not enjoy it when Frank is finished. Are you sure about that? <laughs> All right, let's get these rolls. Let's get these rolls loaded up. Oh, God. Ah! What cars do I own in real life? Um, a... 2005 S2000, a uh, 2018 BRZ TS, and a O2 E46 M3. So let's see, metal rolls, boom, boom. So we're gonna have to get them from some other places as well, but we can take these on off. Take these along on their way. Oh no! I forgot that I could have taken the train tracks here as well. All right, bro. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you in train mode again. Oh god. That was almost real bad. Yeah, I'm gonna need you in train mode again, Mr. Duramax. Oh god. Oh, don't let that trailer go. Do not let that trailer go. I would be very upset if I let that trailer. Oh my god. Don't flip. Don't flip. Don't flip. Don't flip. <gasps> Oh, well, that was almost trailer doom. Jeez. And we'll lock those diffs. There we go. There we go. <laughs> this thing should make short work of that snow climb. The TC Express, exactly, Matthew Chapman, exactly. This thing should make pretty quick work of that climb. And once it does, like, dude, we better get a gigantic in-game payout for this contract. Because this has literally taken three streams at this point. Three freaking streams. Trailer yoga, oh god. That trailer snapped itself in half just about. Just a boot. All right, up you go. How, uh, oh God, uh, it'll stall out if you try to do it that way. All right, then. All right, Baja pros, time to dig in and go. Oh, look at those headlights, they look so good. Where am I going? I was looking at the pretty dash. And by looking at the pretty dash, I almost drove off into a pit of doom. Thankfully, I didn't drive off into said pit of doom. Yeah, it, driving off into pits of doom is not really a recommended uh, technique while hauling sensitive cargo. Yo, hello, uh, 911000 with the 20 NOK Super Chat. Let's see, are you going to play the new Forza Horizon 4 update? Hello from Norway. Thank you, first of all, for the 20 NOK Super Chat. And, oh, I don't know what the heck that noise was. But, and are you going to play the new Forza Horizon 4 update? I'm definitely going to check it out and see what it's all about. Yeah. Power! The whole chat was like, power! Oh, God. Yep, I'm going to need, I'm going to need diff locker, boys. I'm going to need to lock these axles down. Yeah, you can tell it doesn't really make any difference between, like, normal low and low plus, so I'm just going to leave it in normal low. Bro, it is trying so hard. I know you'll make it. No, you'll make it, bud. I can see that trailer in my mirrors. Can you imagine doing this in real life? I mean, like, obviously, when you have a really, like, realistic interior like this truck, um, I rolled three days to get the freaking watchtowers and garage in Montreal. Oh, my God. That's wild. But, yeah, no, when you have such a realistic, like, interior and everything, it really helps the immersion, you know? Catherine is like, uh-oh. Might give it a little bit of a repairy boy. All right. Wait a minute. Did we not repair 
this thing? Did we repair ourselves? Bruh. Okay, there we go. I'm like, man, that's that's frustrating. Low plus works here. Helps us give a, get a little bit more speed here. You can tell that we've been through here with a lot of trucks at this point. It's a gnarly hill, though. I mean, when this thing has trouble with it in low, you know it's a gnarly hill. Bear bro, what's up, man? Just came to light the stream and I'm back to work. Oh, dude, thank you so much for your support, bro. Wish you could stay. How big are those tires? Uh, these are 40s. These are 40-inch Mickey Thompson Baja Pros. Mm-hmm. That is awesome, Herbie. I definitely have to check those out. Those sound like a blast to mess with. Let's put it in, like, low minus, like, extra low. This is, like, basically almost half burying a 40-inch tire. That's some deep snow. Some real freaking deep snow. Turn. That trailer's really short, so we don't have to worry about high centering it. We will have to worry about rolling it over up here, though. Rolling coal until that uh, until that turbo gets spooled up. All right, Jake. We'll see when you get. Oh God. We'll see when you get back. Dude, that trailer is gonna bounce around like a freaking noodle. We're just gonna have to go insanely slow. Pivot the frog. What's up, buddy? And let's see, Philip and Kyle and Joy. Let's see. Carcellers, Jada, what's up, you guys? Tucker Duvall, what's going on? Mr. Prince is like, hi, bros, what's up, buddy? Scale too big. Maybe a little too big. I didn't really think about it until you mentioned it, but I kind of see it now. There we go. Yeah, I kind of see what you're talking about now. It is a little big. It does feel a little big, you know? Gonna be nice and easy through here. Because I know that if I drive even moderately fast, the trailer will flip. 100% it will flip. What about low plus? I think low plus will be okay, right? Oh, that was close. Like, half throttle and low plus. I don't think we'll have to worry too much about that. That's a solid rock, though. We do have to watch out for that, because that rock is solid. Completely solid. You say slow, I slam it into high in the twin steer. Yeah, fair. Mr. Send it in big trucks only. <laughs> getting there, getting there, getting there. Walk the cold creek. Boy, I can the cold creek out mine. Hell you would. What? The speed didn't change when I put it in high. That's kind of weird. The trailer wanted to pass me, and I said no. <laughs> I said no. Cargo management. Boom! All right, we need three more metal rolls. Three more. We're close, man. All right, James, we'll see you later, buddy. Thanks for hanging out while you could. Real quick, I'm going to leave that there, and I have some exploring that I need to do. You know why? Because there's a watchtower legitimately right there. And that will reveal so much to us, and most likely, most likely reveal the location of more items that we need to pick up. Gotta be careful through the rocks, though, because this thing will damage itself up really quick if you get into the rocks. Really quickly. Is that a gateway or is it locked? Oh, that might be a gateway. Not a gateway, but like a workaround. Are you a workaround or are you too steep? You might be too steep. I don't know. Yo, Catherine Curtis, I'm just telling y'all what the developers put out uh, had had put out in the world at the time, you know?
Oh boy. Oh boy. You're not supposed to go this way. Fun fact. Yeah, going this way is not at all recommended by, I think, anyone. Come on. There you go. Swing me around the tree. Oh, no. Swing me around the tree. Come on. Ooh. I don't... She, she's not going to do it, bro. I wish she would, but she's not going to do it. It's okay. I'll get back around to that watch point the other way. Ooh, had a weird frame hiccup just then. Yeah, it's like right out there. Why do I have a feeling that that one's going to be actually like really hard to get to? Really hard. I suppose there's only one way to find out, and that's going to... And that's to take this moderately now broken uh, Chevy back that way. Should have got snow tires. Well, the thing is, the like, the ice tires really don't do that much for you in snow. They just help on ice. The mud tires are good in snow. It just means that like it's so steep that the game doesn't want you to go that way. High roller metals this way, huh? All right then. Oh boy! Oh, this is exciting! I have never been back here. Oh my god. Any kind of, like, base you want to carry in, it's like, nope, 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 nope. Suspension damage, suspension damage, suspension damage. I'm like, really? Should've put the no damage kit on this thing, but again, I wanted to make it balanced. So, yeah. It's gotta be up here, right? I, it's gotta be. Ooh, there's something up there. But you know what? Whatever that is will reveal itself to us once we get to the watch point. What is this crap? You didn't tell me this crap's an actual trail? What? No, this can't be an actual trail. Bruh. Well, I suppose kind of. Oh my god, no. What? This has to be unfinished. What? Alright, where's my dang watch point? I'm intrigued now. It's right there. Huh? Never the frog with a five dollar super chat. I know this is a trucking game, but I would like to see some rally cars or off-road race cars or trucks, mods or not. I don't care. This is my third stream, by the way. First of all, thank you for the five dollar super chat. And secondly, that would definitely be an interesting addition to the game. I, I definitely think it would be cool. RJ's Minecraft, what's up, buddy? Oh no. Dude, I swear if I flip this out here. Yeah, no, wow, it, it really is right up here. Holy smokes. Look at that. Whoa! Wood framing, hey, thy neighbor. Trailer store. Failed delivery, log station, wood framing, and there's something out here. Tracy Bunch, what's up, dude? Welcome back. And Paul, what's good? All right, uh, it's gotta be more in here, right? Or down there, I don't even know. Or in here, something, man, something. Is that just a trailer store? Is that all that is? Is just a trailer store? 
Man, I don't know where I'm gonna find some of this extra stuff. Cause I need slabs and I need metal rolls. So I need three more metal rolls, right? Two of them are there. And none of them are there. So three more, I, two of them are here. Oh my God. Two of them are here at the railway station. And then, oh, yo, we got a short ride, long ride. Huh? What about this warehouse? Oh my God, show me the warehouse. I don't need brick framing. Oh, this glitch is so annoying. It won't show me. Okay, there we go. So there's one metal roll at that warehouse. One metal roll at that warehouse. And two metal rolls at the train station. All right, this is going to be a long one. Trailer store for some fuel. That's true. Okay, so let's see. All right, Pelican, we'll see you when you get back, bro. And uh, we'll see you as well, Josh the Gamer, when you get back. Trailer store for some fuel. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so by the garage and then right there and then the slab so there's two slabs at the railway station and then there's how many slabs here are there any slabs here no slabs there what about out here no slabs out there either that's very weird. Okay, so... Metal rolls, metal beams, bricks... Yeah. Whoa. Wood framing, brick framing. Where's the rest of that... Where's the rest of those slabs? Metal framing, brick framing. It could be back there. I'll tell you what. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this to go and find that last, um, to go and get that last watch point out of the way. And then hopefully that will reveal to us the location of the last set of, yeah, the last set of concrete slabs that we need to find. It's gonna be an interesting one. I've never seen these areas of the map before. It's your boy G Man Gaming. What's up? Welcome back. Huh? <laughs> Vlogging gaming with Alex Parker. Believe. <laughs> All right, let's go see what we can find out here. I gotta get that watch point out of the way. We're so close, man. But is it back there? Yep. Yeah. Well, it would be back there. If I'd gone the right way, <laughs> radar trailer, well, the radar trailer is cool, but like, if I use the watch points, I'll be able to basically unlock more at one time. Oh, thank you, Hendrix Bailey. I really appreciate that, bro. Thing rips up these hills. Holy cow. Oh my god, this is legit actual rock crawling. You are... It has you doing rock crawling up a freaking river. This is some mod map stuff in like... In like a legit map. Oh my god. These rocks are slick too. These Baja pros are having to fight for the grip, that's for sure. There's that little bit of a tripod -y boy. The Verena, what's up? He says, howdy from Texas, what's up? 999 is back. Is this released on PS4? Not quite yet, but it should be in a few weeks' time, I hope. We all hope. <laughs> There's something there. It almost looks like a barn and a silo. To the right looks like it goes to the watchtower. I hope it does like road work ahead. Oh, I sure hope it does. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to take the left. 
That should get us to the watchtower. Crossing my fingers and hoping for the best. They stole this idea from me. Bruh. Oh my god, there's like a zillion forks in the road. What? This is actual legit freaking rock crawling in a default map. Wow. Come on, Baja Pros. Let's go. Come on, Baja Pros, and come on, Duramax. I know y'all can do this. I know you can both do this. Uh-oh. Never mind. Easy does it. Oh, God. Easy gets it done. Ooh. All right. I'm going to give it a little bit of a winch pull because that... That front at oh god, oh no. Okay, there we go. That front axle was not feeling it just then. It was not feeling it. Uh, we dropped off a couple of metal rolls, uh, 999, but not anything like too crazy. Oh, easy does it. Dude, it is fighting with this rock. Oh, I don't know if, I, if it can make it up the ice. It's trying so hard. It might just be too slick. Having to pull with the winch as well. I can't do this. This is legitimately an ice chute. So you got two options, basically. Ice chute or rock crawling. And looks like I'm gonna have to go for the rock crawling. Because I can't do the ice shoot. I don't have chain tires. Perfect trail for the twin steer. Oh, dear God, Diesel. I got to hand it to you. You never give up. <laughs> I guess we're taking the rock crawling trail, boys. Hopefully, it's not iced over, too. Because if that's the case, we'll have to go get something that's got chains on it. Got to get those diffs locked. There's a concrete slab on the Dairy Longhorn. Well, yeah, but we need... Oh, wait. Well, so if there's one and then there's two more, then we really only need one more after that. Okay. Oh, man. This is intense. Doing this in default vehicles. Heck, even doing it in this is going to be hard. Wow. Holy crap. This is intense, dude. Watch Diesel take a freaking twin steer through here. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, dude. Here we go. Almost. Hopefully this reveals the location of that last slab. Because if it does, we'll be in a good place. Ooh. There you go. Make sure the axles don't overheat. Oh, uh, base, basically, Diesel. That is literally your your motto, your go-to. Zach, what's up, man? I see you saying hi out there, Zachary. All right, whoa, yo, we got a uh, contest up here. What the heck? Yo, look at that view. Look at those trees popping out. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Show contest. Down! Hello, we sometimes race here with the guys. Try it. Is it like what? To the bottom of the mountain? Alright. Down! Activated. This is literally skiing. Oh! Ah! Oh my god! Oh, that was well handled. Alright. Oh my god, no! Oh, battery winch for the win. Start up, come on! Go on, sometimes this thing takes a minute to fire up. Gold on first try, maybe? Oh, please? Gold on first try, maybe? Ow! Ooh, engine damage, big time. Oh, God. Oh, we're going to damage the heck out of this thing, but 
It's all for that gold, come on. Oh, in less than a minute. Woo, there it is. Go uphill for another round. Ah, don't worry about it, bud. All right. Real quick, recover Reno. Now I'm going to go back to the map and look and see what we... So sawmill, abandoned trailer, abandoned truck, down and support the meteorologists. So, hmm. There's also this one to do. I think that's the last one. It is. It is the last one. We might as well do it because... There's an upgrade out here? What is that? Whoa, we need to find out what that is. And we need to find out what it is, like, right now. Oh, my God. We need to find out what that is, like, right now. Okay, I'm actually going to sell the Duramax now. Let's go ahead and sell the Duramax. And I am going to probably... Let's see. They stole that from me. Oh, my God, Frank. Good Lord. Let's see. Time trial with mod truck is cheating, TC. <laughs> oh, I knew somebody was going to say it. <laughs> oh, God. All right. We're going to run the 750 now for a bit. I haven't run the 750 in a while, and I enjoy it. Let's paint it. Let's run a white 750. This thing is fully equipped, fully upgraded, and full beans. Go get that upgrade. I want that upgrade, bro. Haven't used the Cherokee in a while. You're right. I haven't. I'm trying to keep it like... I, the only reason why I won't... I don't know. That I don't really want to use it right now is because I've used... Mo like, I've used a lot of mods on this map for a little while now. And I kind of want to leave... I kind of want to go back to using some default trucks for a minute. Just so I don't necessarily overpower the balance of the map. But let's see. Probably if we can get in back there... But I may pull out your first gen in a bit. I also don't think I have the Cherokee in my game right now. But yeah, I may pull out the first gen in a bit, though. Because the first gen is, like, super balanced. Super, super balanced. Do I think boats should be added to SnowRunner? It depends on what kind of boats you're talking about. I mean, it would make scouting really interesting, though. It would definitely make scouting very interesting god that dismal horn though <laughs> yeah there should definitely be some crossing points out here on the river whoa stay out of that bitch yike venom what's up dude the roro customs high boy that thing is so good yeah apparently there's an upgrade out here we got the the mega suspension the like the tuned custom suspension for the ank so i wonder what this one is i'm also stuck now it looks very crossable. It's definitely a crossable area. God, it is pushing through here. There's got to be a spot further on up here to cross. I, I know there is. There's got to be. Now, granted, I've never been back here before, but there's still got to be. One slab on dairy, two slabs in the warehouse. I make three. So, yes. Okay. Wow, my math was so wrong. I don't know why I... Never mind. That was weird. So we need one more slab on the dairy and then one more set of slabs on another... Um, like, one more set of slabs on another truck. So we got some brick framing back here. Well, brick pieces. Bricks in general back here. And then there's gonna be... There's gotta be a crossing of some kind. Right? I would assume. Man, it's just a dark area back here. All right. We well, got a snorkely boy on this thing. Let's give it a test. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, no way. What? Oh, don't drive it upstream. Don't try to drive it against the current. It won't work. You gotta drive it with the current until you're in range of the uh, in range of the winches. I'm gonna be 
okay. I'm not gonna be okay. Oh, I'm gonna be okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're good. Surprisingly, actually, I, I, I thought we were going to drown the truck. Do I have a battery winch? Uh, pretty sh Well, I don't remember, actually. Like, legit, I don't remember. But it swam its way right across there. What is this? What are you? Active suspension for Kolob 74941. Huh. Well, that's freaking cool. Active for a collab. You know what? Let's see. 941. Here. Retain. Storage. Sell that guy. And I'm going to have to make a quick trip to Imandra. Reason being because if I want to buy the collab, I'm going to have to buy it. Um. This on the PTS? Well, of, of course it is. <laughs> of course it is! Like mud. Uh, the engine in the 750, I've got the big one in it right now. I just don't remember which one it, like, what the actual, like, size of it is. The 941. There's the 941. Okay. So let's buy the 941, retain it, then go back to flooded foothills. We'll build it up. And we'll also use it. I'm sure that this thing will be a lot of uh, of help out here. Wait, where's monsters, you noob? <laughs> what? What? Where's monsters, you noob? <laughs> We've been finding upgrades, bud. Like, <laughs> where's? What kind of phrase is that? Where's monsters, you noob? <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, KZGT 530T. Gearbox Advanced. Well, Colob Special. Wait. UI Gearbox Special Colob. They're the same. I think. Active. Do not sell the active kit. And let's see. MSH3s. Let's do MSH3s on this thing. Advanced heavy. Snorkel will be a tall front facing. And saddle high. And this thing will be good to go. It will be presumably one of the craziest vehicles that I think we've probably ever used, rather. Um, so we'll do that. I don't know if I want to change the... Ooh, 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 that's different. Like, that's different. I don't hate it, though. I don't hate it, though, at all. Oh, I meant, I meant Monster Max autocorrect. <laughs> I'll use that blue. Yes. Beans. And this time we'll throw a... Mm, let's see. We'll throw the dice in this one. And then shut up and take my winch, cause this thing is gonna be this thing is gonna be like oh god, hold on. There we go. No road, no problem. Wild Truck Association, and now we can head out. This is gonna be our giant like support truck. Our, uh, oh, somebody wants me to use the eight slot trailer. The thing is, like, at this point, I don't know how much I'd be able to. Well, you know what? No. Oh, there's that, like, mod. Uh, we may as well use the dang super heavy. What have we, uh, like, what have we got to lose? We got a freaking active suspension collab. Oh, look at that lift. 
Wow. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna raise it up just right like just yet, but Let's see, you can check vehicles and upgrades by clicking X on a vehicle in the store so you don't need to buy it. Well, that's cool. But to be fair, I wanted to buy this thing so because I wanted to use it. <laughs> I wanted to use it quite badly. So let me see. So down here, we have two metal rolls. And then up here, we have one metal roll. So that'll be all the metal rolls we need. Oh, good lord. This is not gonna fit anywhere. Anywhere. Like, legit, this won't fit anywhere. But it'll, uh... I mean, it'll look epic doing it, so... Trace is like, call up is bad! And I'm like, I don't know... I don't know why so many people call this thing so bad. I mean, like, if you... If you drive it, like, correctly, it's not terrible. The problem is, I don't always drive it correctly, so... All right, Frank, we'll see you. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, sometimes. I haven't done it in a while, though, Chins. Like, I would love to do it again. I don't know if we need to take the main route or the side route. We should probably just take the main route because the main route is going to be a little bit less, like, well, muddy. Hold on. Raise the suspension. Lock everything down. This is what that eight slot trailer was basically designed for. All right, sounds good, Benjamin E. Big enough hammer and, and everything will fit wherever you need slash want, basically. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to be aware of like making super wide turns. God, this whole setup is gigantic. And the co-op with the top engine is doing a good job with it. Come on. Oh, it took high range, though. Problem is, it, a lot of that is getting like... Yo, what's up, YK2500? How you doing, man? That's legit. Oh, <laughs> catch the tail end of the stream. You're right, bud? Oh, God. Car guy plays trucking game. Gone wrong. God, I need that advanced gearbox on this thing so bad. It does well, like, when it's raised up, though, like, with the active suspension. It does really well. I gotta give it that. Like, nah, just run over the trees. Yeah, right, exactly, Diesel. I assume that the reason why a lot of people, like, say that this thing is bad is because the front overhang is so long. And I get that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Mr. Cringe is like, Beans! And I'm like, oh, you better believe he's here. Never fear. Beans is here, bud. Beans is here, bud. Plane mods, too? Oh, dear. Plane mods would just... Ah, I... TC, please notice both the collabs have active suspension now. Yes, they do. <laughs> the only reason why I read that in that voice, by the way, was because he wrote it in all caps. Not be like I wasn't like making fun of you or anything. I was just like, I any we have kind of a tradition around here that anytime anybody posts something in the chat in all caps, we read it in like sort of a regular car reviews voice. For whatever reason. Beano's is like, do you watch Whistling Diesel? And I'm like, let's examine the facts here. <laughs> Let me make a run around this side just so it doesn't completely high center itself. Hey, Farmer is back. What's good? That's a car horn. Eh, not totally. <laughs> Sounds more like a train, to be fair. Just like a muted train. A sad train. <laughs> oh, it tried... Dude, it tried to shift there. That's amazing. I'm gonna test this tradition out. 
DC and mods like a stronger turbo. <laughs> Pepper the Frog with the five dollars super chat. Also, do you think they should add uh, actual amphibious scouts or amphibious light cargo vehicles? And how about cargo helicopters or some kind of airdrop? I feel like it'd be kind of out of the norm of the game, but it'd be interesting. It'd be really interesting, that's for sure. Yeah, this collab is just slow. I mean, you're right. Darren Smith, what's good, dude? All right, let's throw these metal rolls on this truck. Get Monster Max out. We will towards the end of the stream again. We uh, we had it out on the uh, the mudding map, like the mud bogs map for a while, and I'll take it out there again uh, towards the end of the stream, which we're getting there. I just want to get this cargo loaded up. So we've got all the metal rolls I got here, and we're going to go to the other area and get all the metal rolls they have there, which is uh, one. And then we will be on our way to the, well, this is going to be an interesting turnaround. Oh no. Oh no. Now, this is not easy to turn around, y'all, because it's like the turning radius is that of literally Saturn. Like, what is your turning radius? An actual planet. And not like a Saturn, like the car, but like literally the actual planet of Saturn. MZKTs, exactly. And let's see, Azovs are based off Kamaz. TUZ is based off Gaz, pretty much. I mean, you can, you can really relate like any of the fictional brands to like real brands. You just kind of have to do some digging. Metal Gage, what's up? Inspired me and my friends to record a three-part road trip in this game with bad choices involved. Oh, dear God. I hope you guys had fun. Say this in a strange voice. I could try. <laughs> Colleen Green's like, stop. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to take the short way. Even though it's a lot deeper mud, I feel like this thing won't really be affected by it. Just run over the tree, it'll grow back. To be fair, I do agree with you on that, though, Jeremy. Trevor K, what's up, dude? Are you going to clear the rock? Uh, kind of. Well, by use of one of its, like, floating axles. Like, literal, like, floater axles. <laughs> snow Found a game like Snow, snow Runs. Didn't say Snow he said Snow Runs. <laughs> Oh, well, snow runes, actually. Well, not even runes, because it's only one, uh, it's only, it's two ends. Ha! <laughs> that's funny. t Watts 45, that's funny. Come on forward. Thank you. I wish that, like, if you installed aftermarket horns on your truck in this game, I wish it actually, like, made your horn louder or made it a different tone. Mopar man, what's up, buddy? Let's see. Oh, John Deere came back. What's up? Let's see. Red photographer, what up, TC? Also playing this game with you. Extremely fun. Heck yeah, man. Oh, that's awesome, 999. Just gotta at least get this set up back to the main road. It's a slow go, though. Unfortunately. I wish this thing was faster, but there's very little I can do about that. I already have the maximum engine installed in this thing. Literally the actual maximum engine. This trailer with loading ramps, dude, me too. Me too, dude. God, it's like a mile long. It's so incredibly long. Just chilling out in here with beans, huh, bud? How you doing, my dude? Huh, how you doing? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> the birds took off. They're like, nope, nope. What's your favorite truck in the game? Uh, my favorite truck in the game is probably the Tega. It would be the Royal, though, if the Royal had diff locks. I love the Royal. Love the Royal. I just wish it had lockers. What's the worst truck in the game other than the CLT and the Transtar? So that's a little trickier of a question. Probably the... Uh, hmm. See, if you had asked me that like a few months ago, 
I would have said the Dan, but I've come to like the Dan a lot. Like, there's nothing wrong with the Dan. I used to just not enjoy how it drove before, but I've definitely, like, I've definitely become a lot more, a lot more accustomed to how it drives, and I've kind of, you know, I've kind of grown to like it in a lot of ways. Oh, thank you, Metal Gauge. Hope you're having a great day, too. All right, man. Well, we'll see when you get back. Yeah, let me get this thing back to the main road because I know this is a super slow go. Once we get this back to the main road, we're gonna we're gonna head out to the head out to the mud pits. It's gonna be a blast. Oh boy, that's a little deep, don't you think, there, bud? Oh, that tree is not having a good time. About to pull that tree out of the freaking ground. Yeah, I get that, I man. I get that completely. The CLT looks cool, but that's about it. Like, get some all-wheel drive and, and lockers. I agree, T Watts. I really do. All right, let's get this thing up out of here. Well, making this turn is not going to be pleasant. Might have to be a multi uh, multi point turn. Might. Make it a budget royal with all wheel drive. Now, that would be kind of cool. Alright, let me make my way around. I'm driving all the way in here for a reason. Probably gonna jackknife this thing, but you know what? Sometimes you have to make certain sacrifices. <laughs> Ow. And let's go. Almost, almost, almost. Yo, uh, let's see. Michael Keller, thank you for the, let's see. Five pound 49 super chat? It's either 549 pound or euro. I'm not sure. Let's see. I did post on the Snowrunner Discord before asking if people liked the idea of diff lock on the world, but most people said because it was a free truck. No. Interesting. I never thought about it that way. That's super interesting, actually. I feel like they should maybe, I don't know, maybe if they hid the upgrade for it, like... Maybe if they hid a, um, like, a locker upgrade for it somewhere, that would be really cool. You can go ahead and lower that suspension down. Not bad, not bad. Alright, stop that engine. And now, y'all are gonna get a intense little... Oh god, my controller, really? Oh, it waits until the end of the stream to do it. Dang. All right. Uh, load game. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be fun. Dude, I'm so ready to finish up the stream at Lime's Mud Park. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so good. We're going to be we're going to be yeeting some freaking trucks. Absolutely yeeting them. And my controller decides now is the time to get very, very wonky. Hello there, Monster Max. All right, let me recover Monster Max and leave the garage in Monster Max. And now, I'm going to hit that giant ramp at ridiculous speed. I feel like this isn't going to go well, but that's exactly what we want. <laughs> oh, I'm so up for this. be pointed just about the right way. Test hit. Come on. Oh! <laughs> well, that was beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. What? What? Oh, that was amazing. Dude, that's sick. Oh my god, that is wonderful. Now, what are some of the areas I haven't seen? Ooh, I haven't been out here yet. Yo, we need to go out there. 
We so need to go out there. All right, I'm going to make a left, and then I'm going to take that dirt road straight on down. Straight on down. Let's see. Oh, boy. Oh, turn! <laughs> Full on yeet. Full on freaking yeet. Wait, did I miss my turn? No. Captain sense of direction over here. Try crab walking monster max. Bro, it does that on its own. Your UBJ, what's good? There's a lot of people that are talking about apparently there's like a I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look something up real quick. Hmm. Yo, is there like a hang on? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Somebody said that somebody said Austin Farmer was in the stream. Is that like is that someone trying to do a bamboozle? Or is that like a legit account? I didn't even see it pass by. I just saw some people say, whoa! Let's see. Oh, I saw him right there. I don't know if that's the legit one or not. Yeah, I don't know if that's the legit one or not. Someone check, please. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's the legit one or not. Like, I mean, it's cool if it's the legit one though. Oh boy, easy. Have you seen the Grand Tour boat episode? Oh, heck yeah, I have. Isaac Land, what's up, dude? What's up out there in the chat? Yeah, if Diesel Addict could check, could check for bamboozleage, that would be lovely. Or, or if Red could check for potential bamboozleage. Whoa! Oh, narrowly avoided the... Oh, okay. Yep, narrowly avoided the uh, the excavator. Let's see. Jameson says it's him. And he, of course, says, yeah, man, it's me. But And if it is you, no, like, no worries. I just... The only reason why I'm having them check is because we've had that problem before where, like, people will come in and pose as somebody else. And we, uh, we remove them for bamboozling. Oh, so I guess it is. Heck yeah, dude. Uh, just full send it. Oh, trust me. We will when we get to where we're going. I haven't been to this area yet. We got, like, a full-on loading area over here. Yo, is this a monster truck track? Oh, that's sick. That's so sick. All right, I believe it goes this way. So yeah, okay, it is the legit one. That's awesome. That's awesome. You can under I'm sure you can understand why we have to check though. Oh! That was legit. Oh my god, that was perfect. Will you go the direction I'm pointing you, please? Sometimes it turns better when you lift off the throttle. Oh god, nope, 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 go! Put it back in auto mode real quick. Dude, this th this would be an amazing track for like, for like full on monster truck racing. Can you imagine racing like four monster trucks at once here? Be so wild. Gotta be careful on some of these jumps though. Cause they can and they will mess you up quick. I like putting it in high, like, right when you get down off a jump, because it really actually helps. Oh, God. Nope. Ah, do a barrel roll. We're all good, bud. Do a barrel roll. We good. <laughs> oh. All right. High range. Go. It helps. Trust me. It helps. I want to try and complete, like, an actual full clean lap. I don't know how hard it's going to be, but it might be moderately tricky. Bring it around. Uh-oh. I was like, come on, bring it around. Bring it around. Bring it around. Easy. Oh, God. Oh, there it is. Kick it in a high. Go, 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 go. That worked well-ish. Not bad. Not bad. Thing rips out here, man. I feel like this track was totally built for this truck. It, it just... Oh! 
Well then, uh, that was a bed scraping wheelie. Like, all right. Now I know the map said there was something else out this way as well. Yo, what is this? Are these like mud lanes, like for drag racing? Oh, that's sick. Maybe not even for drag racing, but just to like, to see if you could get through them. Wonder which one is the hardest. Let's find out. Little like wheelie turnaround. Wait, okay, this one's like ultra easy. Whipped it around on that one. Oh, come on. I said, oh, what's up, man? Finally made it out. Heck yeah, dude. All right, let's do the second lane. And hit the second lane. It's a tiny bit deeper, but it's still just skimming it. Not bad. Now for the third lane. Let's see. Without the rear steer? Uh, not really. There's really only that one version. All right. Oh, God. Oh, come on. There you go. Suspension damage intensifies. Suspension damage intensifies. Ah! Steer low. Low plus still works. Oh, this is... That, that is going to be... That is going to be super hard for just about anything to get through. I mean, it was tricky for Monster Max. I mean, it's going to be tricky for, like, just about anything. Like, just about whatever you want to throw at it. Dude, Frank, I'd be down for that. Like, I would so be down for that. Yeah, it definitely does look interesting, Troy's Hobbies. It looks very, very interesting indeed. Oh, did my controller just, just quit? Oh, my God. Yo, I think my controller just completely quit on me. I think it just completely quit on me. No, it's actually good. I love how my controller was fine this whole time. And then, like, here and now it decides it's done. All right, I'm going to let that guy chill right there. And I'm going to use Puppy Master's gigantic freaking, um, basically F650 6x6 on triples. And let's see. Now, the bed supplies don't really weigh anything. That's the soft suspension. ATV bed suspension. Presumably, that, that would be stiffer. I'm going to take this guy down to the mud lanes now. All right, Tracy, we'll see you later. Let's take this thing down to the mud lanes. It doesn't turn for crap, though. It turns very badly. Stop. I wonder if it'll even fit down this trail. Stop. Oh, my God. It just, like, slid 100 feet past the freaking thing. Dribbles are just silly fun. I mean, they are. Of course they are, puppy. They're they're just nuts. Oh, jeez. Go, 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 go. If I stay flat out, it should actually work better with the stiffer suspension if I'm doing jumps, because that soft suspension was a little too soft. Did not mean to hit the tree, but when you're like a mile wide, that sometimes happens. It's like you'll you'll hit one tiny little thing and then all of a sudden the performance will deteriorate like mad. Don't know why. I really don't know why. See, once it gets to seventh and eighth gear, that's when it really takes off. I just wish it was easier to keep it in seventh and eighth gear. And see, I wanted to go back to fourth. Now, granted, it's not slow in the mud, but let's see. All right, Alex, we'll see you when you get back, man. Dribbles are for farming. Yeah, I mean, on farming equipment. This thing ain't farming equipment, I'll tell you that. Rolling in eighth gear. Oh, jeez. If you could, like, stay away from the trees, that'd be awesome. Ah! Well, we hit it with the tire, so it didn't really damage us. Will you hit seventh? 
Come on, hit seven. I need to take it all the way out to the mud lanes. That's what we're out here for. There's seventh, there's eighth. Man, when the, whoa! When that power kicks in, in like, oh! Rest in peace, our windshield and snorkel and sun visor and everything, basically. We'll do it in the same order that we did them in in Monster Max. We'll do um, the easy lane, then the medium lane, then the hard lane. that was you know what hang on one second probably that probably that all right let's go back in real quick all right let's see what we can do and go i'm sure it'll do this one in high i'm sure it'll do this one in high won't it beans won't it bud let's go Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. God, it leaves the widest ruts in the world, basically. I don't think I've ever seen anything leave wider ruts than that in mud. Wow. It's like a giant farm tractor just went through there. It's nuts. Hello, Monster Max. All right, let's go. This is going to be a little deeper, but not by much. Definitely slowed it down a little. Wow, low plus is faster in this mud than high is. That's insane. I mean, it's understandable, though, but it's still insane, dude. Daniel, what's up, man? Yeah, RIP everything to do with the roof, though, on this thing. It's completely ruined. Completely and utterly ruined. Poor Beans is going to have whiplash. It, right, basically. Just about. Just a boot. All right, let's go. Final mud lane. Come on. Throwing it in low plus. Oh, boy. That's thick. Thick with, like, five Cs. But since it's so wide, we might not even have to worry about the trenches up here. It'll just, like, roll right over them. Literally roll right over them. Come on. See if it'll let me basically, like, straddle this one. Pretty much. Oh, <laughs> Dude, it doesn't even care. That's amazing. These axles would be crying in pain right now. Oh my god, these axles would be crying in pain. Like, I can't think of anything else these axles would be doing. Jeez. Alright, so there's also this little area over here, which, what is this? Oh! Oh! Hello, Duramax. I haven't seen that part of the map yet. Let's see. Let's uh, let's go see what's over there. Looks like there's like a little town or maybe a farm or something. That's not what I thought it was going to be, but it's interesting nonetheless. Yo, what is this? Loading. Loading area. It's like a base of some kind. Can you drive into these? Bro, can we drive into these? Oh, man. Oh, nope, invisible wall. Kind of figured it was going to be an invisible wall, but I was also hoping it wouldn't be. That moment when. <laughs> that freaking moment when. All right, yeah, we can get out of here now. We good. So apparently that across the road... Is that like a miniature racetrack or something? That's like the last thing I have yet to see on this map. And if it's anything like the rest of this map... What? Oh, that's just the edge of the map. Okay, never mind. I wonder what will happen if we hit it, like, going extremely fast. Uh, it's just like, nope. You cannot. You are not allowed. 
This track over here looks fun. Let's go attempt it. It's like the last thing I have yet to attempt on this map. I assume it goes this way, but I could be completely and totally wrong. Let's see. It's like a mud track. It's different. It's kind of cool, though. Like, time trials on this mud track would be pretty fun. You gotta admit, they'd be pretty fun. And I still will admit I'm potentially doing it backwards, but... Oh! That was like a full four seconds on two wheels. Wow! And then obviously we flipped it over at the end, but still. Oh my god. That was actually quite fun. A lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be. All right, let's go ahead and head back to the main menu real quick, guys. And just real quick, I want to thank you guys all so much for coming out here. You guys, this was an incredible stream today. You guys showed up amazingly and like I had an absolute blast out here massive thank yous to the people that came out and watched people that chatted um, all the moderators everybody that super chatted every last one of you guys no matter what it is that you do helps support this stream in incredible ways and also hmm let's see all right puppy I'll definitely check that out I'll definitely check those out but let's see Zachary Moon says yurf dog and I'm like well we showed the yurf dog track earlier but we'll definitely be doing like a little bit more of a a little bit more of an in-depth look at it soon. But with all that being said, if you guys have any questions that you would like to ask me before the stream ends, now is the time to get those question out, questions out there and get those questions answered. Um, and I'll let you know if it's something I can or can't answer. But with all that being said, thank you guys again so, so, so much for coming out here and just having a blast with me out here in this stream. I enjoyed myself immensely and I hope you guys did too. So let's see. Thank you, Savage. Thank you, Zachary Moon. I appreciate it. Darren Smith, appreciate it. Princess, that was fun. Awesome stream today, brother. Thank you, Christian Chadrick Vlogs. What happened? What did I miss? Uh, well, in the end there, we were going around doing some mudding on the new uh, uh, Limes Mud Park map. TC Flips, I'm okay. Flips again, less okay. <laughs> Basically, Drew Dog. All right, we'll see you later, bro. When are console mods coming out? We don't know yet, but as soon as I uh, have any new info, I'll share that with you guys. Let's see. All right, Rob Keith, we'll see you later. Uh, let's see. Will Monster Max come to... I'm assuming he's meaning come to consoles. That I'm not sure of, honestly. Uh, best way to spend an afternoon. Thank you, Calvin Baldwin. I appreciate it. Also, you guys, make sure you tune in to the next video, which will be dropping on the channel at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time later today. Make sure you don't miss it because it's going to be a really fun one. And I will, of course, be out there in the comments section talking with you guys and, uh, and answering any questions you may have on that video as well. So, let's see. All right, James. And all right. Rob Keith. Oh, thank you, man. Catherine Nunez, thanks, dude. And let's see. William, Zachary. All right, y'all. We'll see ya. We will see ya. Mr. Cringe. Love your stream, CC. Keep doing great. Thanks, man. I really appreciate you coming out. No worries, Silver Number. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Glad you enjoyed it, man. So glad you enjoyed it. All right, y'all. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Hope y'all have had a awesome, uh, an awesome Monday so far. Let's see, Also Farmer, would you ever be down to collab in the future? Uh, potentially. Yeah, do you, uh, um, I'll tell you what, Austin, I'll, uh, I'll hit that up on Discord. And we'll see what, um, we'll see what we can, uh, we'll see what we can work out. I gotta check out some of your, uh, I gotta admit though, I haven't watched many of your videos, so I'm gonna have to, like, kind of, you know, check them out, but we'll see. Um, oh, thank you, Savage, I appreciate it. You know, it was a really nice stream, thank you so much. Join a little late, I think, eh, potentially. But you can come back, uh, that car guy, you can come back at 5 p.m. EST. I will be in the comment section of the latest, latest video, which drops then. Let's see. What do I think of the Crew Wild Run? Um, I think it's pretty good. I just haven't played it in a while. But with all that being said, guys, thank you all so much yet again for coming out. I really appreciate it, and I will see all of you next time. Talk to you all later, and I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys.